everyone. Hi, udah pada mati dari singer, songwriter, and what's correct from Niji Sanji. My name is Reza Avanna. Welcome to Niji Andy, where I, the, uh... Forever DM of Niji Sanji will, um, you know, DM some games for my VTuber friends. Not all are from Niji Sanji, but yeah, I mean, like, okay, first of all, I, I'm I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, we're going to play TRPG, so we're going to role play a fantasy game. It's uh, it's technically a uh, a D and D is a fantasy TRPG. So um, why again? We have a cyborg, an oni. A guild master, a uh, great I witch of calamity. Thing, <laughs> Why are we role playing even? <laughs> a motley, a motley. <laughs> We're already <laughs> role playing. <laughs> We're ready for this, yeah. Anyway, yeah. we, we don't have... need to role play. This is our life. Oh my god, yeah, this is just <laughs> real life. Exactly. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa. Well, there we go. Anyway, um, let's introduce everyone. Um, let's go from uh, as our esteemed guest. Shoto, please introduce yourself to oh everyone God, who is actually here. Yes. <laughs> oh, well, uh, hi. Hey there. I just woke up like 20 oh. minutes ago. I'm Shoto. And uh, I, I, really, I really like D&D a lot. And I'm really excited to be here. So. Ooh. Ooh, that's nice. <laughs> and... I love DMZ. <laughs> <laughs> we all love DMZ. Yes. Um. Oh yeah. By the way, today uh, Shoto will be um, using the um, beautiful, beautiful um, homebrew subclass uh, Gunslinger uh, by Matthew Mercer. Anyway, yay! <laughs> somewhere in the world. <laughs> Next one. Yeah, this from... is gonna be my first time using that song. Oh yeah, yeah. It's it's it's. I might be a little bit slow, but yeah. Yeah, this, this is my first time um, DMing someone playing Gunslinger too. So yeah, I don't usually use that Gunslinger class. <laughs> uh, next up, uh, the only one from Luxium, uh, Vox, please. Hello everyone. Uh, this is this is this is Vox Akuba. I'm the voice demon from Niji Sanji Ian's Luxium. Should we introduce our characters now as well, or should that? Be um, like that? up to you. It's okay. Uh, I I uh, came up with my character not too long ago. I couldn't stay away from my roots as a certain monkey. So my character for today will be <laughs> Kylam Shira. I am a sea elf, and I'm a, and I'm a straight up. I'm a bard, and I'm Ooh. looking forward to causing a little bit of mischief. There you go. Um, Kalim Shira, I believe that's that's how we pronounce that. I. There you go. Um. Yar. The third time in Mobius Infinite Athenaeum, please. Fulgur. What up, guys? Fogger Ovid. I'm the archivist from the future. I am here to roll some dice, get some terrible rolls, and have a fun time entertaining everybody, especially the DM, because I always get good rolls on stupid things and terrible rolls when I'm about to die. Let's go! 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 <laughs> oh, god. oh god anyway last but not least the myth the legend the one who finally proved that third times is a charm Millie Poppin hi everyone I'm Millie from Niji Sanji and third with Etheria I'm finally here after three two yeah this is the third time this is the third time D &D. not cursed anymore Finally Yay. broke the curse. <laughs> I'm sorry, everyone, but Millie is, is kind of a legend in MIA. <laughs> <laughs> Almost I guess there's cursed, more but, in past games. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh god. Anyway, um, yeah, we will be playing um, some uh, one shot today. Uh, it's probably going to be uh, to go for um, probably around three hours. Um, I hope it won't go longer than that. But we, I guess, we all have the t our you know all the time in the world. Not exactly, but yes. Um, yeah, as usual, let's, let's am I? Let's just have some fun. <laughs> yeah, let's just have some fun because yeah. it is going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, um, as usual, for everyone who doesn't know, um, MIA, um, uh, Business Infinite Athenaeum is uh, a one shot series for uh, Nijandi in my channel, and this time we will be playing uh, the one shot Do Goblins Dream of Lightning Dragons? Definitely not taken from anywhere. The title I meant, um. Like the forehead vein on on Folger is just popping, trying not to make a comment on that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yes, um, for uh, everyone, feel free to join in on the chat. Uh, if you, um, as usual, uh, it's def uh, the default is in um, subscriber mode. So if you don't want to subscribe just to chat, uh, just talk through Twitter uh, with the hashtag NiGNDMIA. You can always just use that on Twitter. Anyway, are we all ready? Yeah. Hey. I'm fucking ready. Oof. Oh, um, yeah. Oof. Am I? Am, am I ready is the question. I was just testing you. It's, it's good. It's oh, good. Okay. All right, let's go. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> okay. Um, Moby is infinite at the name. One shot. Do goblins dream of lightning dragons? We'll begin shortly for everyone. Good luck. And have fun. The beast, the legend, the calamity. The lightning dragon is an ancient creature who lived in a mountain to the southwest of Verde Avento. Well, at least that's what the people believed. For the past thousands of years, no sighting of the lightning dragons had been reported. Only the settlement of goblins inside the gigantic cave. Years and years passed. The goblin settlement had been a staple for beginning adventurers to hone their skills. It's been a while though, since the last time anyone visited that place. For the past two years, the cave had been really quiet. You, the four of you, of all people are sent to this cave to investigate what actually happened to the settlement. Is the lightning dragon really back? Is a question that needs to be answered. For Theron Van Doren, Kaftis Menon, Henry Snyleaf and Callum Shira. I want all four of you to roll initiative. Oh. Let's, let's go right away. <laughs> all right, so we're getting right into it. Fun. Right away. Right away. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Right away. Natural I twenty to start. I got it. a natural twenty. Ooh, that as well. Oh, that's well. Wow. That's a. That's a. Well, there we go. That's a natural twenty. All right. <laughs> okay. I'll, Did, I'll, it work? Did I roll? That's amazing. Um. Yep. Did I roll? So yep. The two of you, all of you, roll. So please open your um. Just just open your character sheet. There is an initiative box there. Click that. You don't need to roll it manually. Oh, nice. Wait, where? In your character sheet, above your HP. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. I see. Okay, I'll do it again. Okay, 
Let's go. So, um... Melee tied with Shoto without oh, a freaking right. natural for... 20. Holy oh, crap. Oh, God. I forgot to <laughs> use uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. draw. <laughs> <laughs> really didn't even roll they do it your initiative is eight. <laughs> oh god, wait, how? Because <laughs> I'm lucky. Oh what wait, your initiative is eight, is that you know what? We'll talk about that later. I'll see it later, but man. I just want to say how, how is your dexterity at eight? Oh my god. No, her dexterity is not eight, even eight. Oh, is it because of the proficiency bonus? I think there's another bonus she got because of oh, her okay. class. I will add the turn of everyone. That with... is the fastest halfling in the world. Yeah, the fastest <laughs> halfling in the Bitch world. Bitch is just running around like a zombie, like a baby zombie in Minecraft. <laughs> Great. The, 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 leg, the legs move so fast it sounds yeah. like a <laughs> You know the sound of R2-D2 when it runs away? <laughs> Oh lord. Um nine. Okay, then this is what you guys are fighting. Let's have a look. A thing. This, Singular thing? A thing. Or many things. A few uh, many things. Many oh, things. Boy. So I will <laughs> roll something for this. Crap. And let's see. What did I roll? Oh. Troy Oh my god, it's a natural one. <laughs> We got a natural 20 and a natural one on the first one. For one. all four of you, you entered this cave not too long ago. It's probably 30 to 14 minutes ago. You entered this cave and you were trying to investigate the whole settlement of goblins that is supposed to, well, reside here in the cave not that far from Verde Avento. The problem being... After going around for a while, you are surrounded by this group of kobolds. Really, really weak kobolds that you've been fighting for the past five minutes. The in front of you now are just three kobolds that are really, really like wind winded here and there. And like this, this one, just uh, one of them in the middle is like holding the scimitar really shaky. It's like, ah, please, please, please spare us. We are we just trying to save you just trying to defend ourselves. This is this is our home. Why are you adventurers want from us? And Reese, what are you going to do? It's your turn. Well, I don't have a lot of skills because I put it all in trying to save myself. So I'm going to run away. Not sure. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> you... I'm leaving you guys. Bye. Oh God! You 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 tried to uh, you, you, you didn't take a few uh, steps back. You, you turn I'll around. I'll be hiding on the rock. I'll, uh, I'll hide on the rock. Yeah, you expand your you expand your movement speed. There's like full on like I believe 25 speed, uh, and you find a rock. You you hide behind it. And one thing that you can see behind a rock, you just immediately remember that 10 minutes ago, the, uh, after a while that you guys like entered this cave. Uh, the part of the cave, like around the entrance, basically collapse and block <gasps> the exit, like back towards the town. You realize that all of you are trapped in this place. Not with these three. No. <laughs> Is that all of your turn? Yes, I will hide until someone dies. Sure. Tiran, <laughs> what are you going to do? A bold strategy. Well, I just saw this halfling we just met run and abandoned us for dead. That's quite, uh, I don't know. What did the Cobalt say? He's, was he was he on the aggressive? Or is he just um, talking? No, he was not. Lo um, looking at the situation, this these three kobolds, they were aggressive to all of you guys. But looking around, um, the the four of you basically, uh, the, the, well, at least the ones who were still fight basically killed, like, a bunch of them already and like the last three of them are pleading for their life one, one is kneeling in front of you while the other two are uh, getting ready to run away i this seems ridiculous i'm just going to hold my action to uh fire shots if they attempt to attack us but I, that's all I want to do, is just hold my action in case anything bad happens. Sure. 
Then that is your turn. Kaftis. Oh shit. I got above Vox. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. No, I got like a nothing. Okay. <clears throat> oh, do beg for your life better, won't you? But it cast Hex on one at the same and immediately after throw a double Eldritch Blast at him. Ooh, sure. Very nice. <laughs> 19 is a hit. Roll okay. the damage. You guys hacks on on uh, one of them. Well, what what hacks? Oh, you know what? Uh, so six force. You you uh, send one eldritch blast uh, to to the one in the middle. Um, it's a range attack, so poof, immediately like it hits like the the chest of this kobold, and it, it it flung back, fell down unconscious. So there's only two uh, left. Um, which are you still going to send the second one? Yeah, the second one will just hit the other one next to it. Sure, then you send the second one to the right, and uh, that is, uh, I believe the, the 18 is also hit, so that's another six force damage, and poof, that, that one just hit the jaw of the kobolds, and, 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 and fell down in real like with, with the jaw, like, dislocated, and, like, the neck just snapped to the, 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 uh, to the lab, and poof, and the other like, Back to your lives, fools. <laughs> the other one is literally Cuffed his bloody fear. hell. Um, You're is that welcome, all? Fool. <laughs> oh my god. I think that's uh, hacks, that's bonus action and action. Uh, Kalem, what are they going to do? I think, I think, I think at this point, Kalem is getting a little bored. He's just sort of. Oh, this is such a, such a weak enemy. Why are we spending so much time? I'm going to walk up to the remaining kobold and I'm going to cast a vicious mockery on him. Ooh. I will roll <laughs> the wisdom saving throw. I believe that's a six psychic damage if I fail. Okay, now Ooh. now bear with me. What I'm gonna do mm -hmm. is with vicious mockery, I'm also basically going to yell at the kobold <laughs> and be like and and be like, you know, you know this man over here, and I point at Tyran. I pointed him and I, I pointed him and I say he said something very dreadful about your mother last night. No, I didn't. Into attacking him. <laughs> oh, sure. Um, He's holding with his gun ready. I figured we could get some extra damage in. Oh God. Oh, um, oh, <laughs> with that vicious marker, you, you're you're trying to rile up this one kobold in exactly. fear. You you have like with, with your uh, voice that like uh, that's also weave with the, the arcane. It starts to like mess with it. it says like, ah, not not my. Mother! Like it was going to like attack um, um, Theron, but like just be just with that vicious mockery damage, like it, as if it was going to 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 attack, it goes into like this confusion. Ah, and it fell down, poof, unconscious. All three kobolds in front of you guys are dead. Yeah, oh, they were such everybody. nice boys. I'm gonna I'm gonna pat Theron on the back and, and just be like, thanks for putting up with that. You did very well. I, I never. I would never talk about anybody's mother like that. But well, not even a kobold. I mean, look at him. You know, his mother's probably probably n not much better looking. Well, they seem nice. I, I. They didn't seem like they wanted to hurt us. I. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, they were. They were. They were. They were. They were. They were attacking us. They, they were attacking. Us. They were attacking. They literally just left. villagers. Damn it! Are you still there? You can come out well, now. They're get. They're gone. Tiny child, where are you? Maybe she died. Maybe she died. I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll for persuasion to see if I can't pers persuade her to come out. <laughs> well, um, it's a, uh, it's uh, she, I mean, she's uh, she's not a PC, so I'm not gonna let there uh, be uh, what is it, judge with like a roll, but yeah, there we go. Uh, true. Um, she's, she's for uh, and and Reese, it's clear for you now. Um, the other three are looking for you. You're hiding behind uh, the rock right now. Oh. It seems like you're I, the one I, I, they I call out. Tiny Child. Are you guys done? Oh, cool. Can we check the dead bodies of the kobold? I, I really want to see if there's any loot. Well, go ahead then. I'm not touching them. They look smelly. I'm not touching them. It has to be a loot, right? We were here anyway. We might as well check. Yeah, more for me. A They're kobolds. They probably have bones. Sure. Um, then uh, the only one who is trying to investigate, Andres, please enroll your investigation check. 
Okay. Thirteen is actually enough. Um, you, you, uh... Pretty walk funny. around all the three, like, all, all, uh, all three, um, cobalt corpses. Um, first of all, there's no valuables. Uh, or at least something that's valuable to you. But, uh, most of these kobolds have, have, like, this necklace from, like, that is created, like, from, uh, robe that is tying up like numbers of like fingers that looks like um goblin fingers for example um kind of like goblin fingers that they have like those kind of like all of them have the those kind of like um necklaces and you you you've seen some of them carrying like this um just just cruelly and like this this cruelly made podge like um some meat um but one thing that you are, uh, that you they found, like, you, that you found in common between all three of this kobolds, they do, they have this, um, symbol, that statue that around, like, their nape. It's in the shape of, like, a dragon head, like, really simple dragon head in the color of, like, yellow. Like, yellowish color. Um, you don't find any other things that's valuable, but you do find that, um, you found a golden ring, uh, on one of the kobold. The one that looks like the leader of the pack that just attacked you. Oh, I'll keep it. I'll take it with is there me. Any, is there anything, um, perhaps special about the ring? Might, might it be enchanted? Um, do you want to check <laughs> on that? I mean, may, I mean, maybe, perhaps. Is, is anyone else here proficient in arcane? Perhaps we can roll an arcane check for it. Almost oh, definitely not. I don't know what the I hell that no is. <laughs> I won't be touching that smelly object, thank you. Well, you're sort of a smelly object yourself. Oh, but it, it, it might, it might, it, it might, be, it might be a veritable treasure. And here you are, so worried about getting your filthy little hands even more dirty than they already are. Just check the bloody ring. Don't make me end you both, mortals. I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of, I just kind of like, I, I just kind of like el el elbow um, Amicia really, really gently and I'm just like, get a load of this guy. Oh God. And then do I realize, I, I, I kind of panic and run towards the back where we came from. Do I realize that, you know, it's blocked off? Because, um, was it? Henri's tried to run recently, right? Mm hmm. So it, it yeah, can't we, leave? We, it's Reza not, said it's we like... would have known it was blocked off because it collapsed behind us before the game started. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> How are we going to get out of here? The only way out is in, friend. What do you think we're doing? I think this is, might be a little bit too high. Too low for my pay grade. Um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna walk, I'm gonna walk up to. to you get I'm paid. Gonna, I'm gonna give him a hearty smack on the back, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, "Hey, there's one thing, there's one thing oh. we love. It's going in. Now, come on, we best not waste any time." Um, I guess that does seem to be the logical choice. Uh, all right. Are you, are you done That's... looking at those dead bodies, or whatever? How did you just? kill them so easily like they were nothing exactly I mean, I mean that's look, why I mean, it was I mean, easy to kill them I mean look at them I mean this is this is not exactly a feat of strength I mean I, I feel like you could breathe on them and they and then bet bones would snap and they weren't really mad at us or anything maybe we could have you know what never mind let's just I'll pretend that maybe they w did want to kill us right they were bloodthirsty and and aggressive and yes yes bloodthirsty creatures and there will only be more the further in we go but of course there's no way out but in just assume that everything's trying to kill you Thierry, and then you might actually survive longer all right and i aim my gun at him whoa. as a joke now you're joke. learning whoa, whoa, whoa. and i'm gonna warm up my hands with eldritch blasts just, just <laughs> 
you, you're warming your head with Eldritch Blast? Just keeping yeah, it yeah, like my active? Hands are, like glowing as I like he points the gun at me like, in my hands. Oh, to glow. that's good. <laughs> so, um, at this point, uh, you you guys are in that section of the cave. You um, you look far uh, deep into the cave, and it's. Uh, the deeper it gets, the the harder it is to see, um, at least from your um, from the area that you're standing right now. Um, the ones in the party who doesn't have dark vision is just Theron, I believe. Yes, because I'm a yeah, human. Um, <laughs> and Reese is a halfling. Uh, Theron is a human, yeah. So, um, but for uh, the rest, except Tiran, um, the all the uh, everyone for except Tiran, you you guys can see a little bit better, a little bit further in, and you you can see like some 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 uh, silhouettes are like moving not that far from from uh, your area. It's like, and you can hear like a little bit of. Um, the cave noises that um, that happens like at the same like that 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 happens like around the same time of their movement that match their movement and you can see like those silhouettes like start to like drag some things like from the um, from the ground somewhere deeper in the cave and um, I want the three of you to roll perception check. May I also roll? Just for fun. Sure. How do I roll that? Uh, you, you open your character sheet. Action. There's a perception in the skills box. I see. Yeah, okay, I click that one. So for Andres, it's 12. Coptus, 13. Callum, 13, and Tyrion, it's 14. At this point, you can hear um, some rumble, like, from inside. And, like, the, the cave itself just shakes with this loud voice that echoes from inside. And you can hear it's... It kind of... Um... It's it, it kind of flows as if it's in this conversation. It's like... <laughs> You, you you can't exactly know the like, can't, you can't exactly hear details of like can't really make any words from the the thing that you listen to, but you can hear that kind of voice as um going back and forth with the same kind of like grumbles, but but from um uh from creatures with a higher pitch. Um, and a lot, like a lot of creatures with higher pitch, as if like they're in this conversation that that's going on far deep into the the this cave. Well, it sounds like they're expecting us. We shan't want to disappoint, shall we? How can you guys see anything? It's so dark. Ah, uh, uh, humans. Ah, uh, <laughs> uh, the poor human. I'm gonna, I'm sort of like, I'm sort of joking with um, Kuftus, and then I'm gonna walk up to Tierra and I'm gonna be like, hey, hey, I can see him. <gasps> hey, 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 hey. Oh, hey, oh, hey, it's, it's just you. Hey, All right. Hey, uh, hey, it's just me. It's just me. Listen, I can see in the dark. Do you fancy I can guide you? Do you wanna hold my arm? Sure. I, I'm, I'm gonna grab around and uh, I, I want to try and like, I don't know. I'll reach around at random and like grab at literally anybody who's around me's like body. I don't know. Do I roll for this? You know what? what? Roll roll a d6. Oh, you can uh, like in the chat of rolls and you can just slash sl uh, type slash r space d6. <laughs> well, that's the best one. So you're you're trying to Fuck. reach out to anything like around. Uh, you're um you're hoping to at least grab um. Uh, Callum's like uh, arm or Atlas hat or shoulder or something, but like what you're grabbing um, for Andre, suddenly you see Theron like put his hat on top of your head. <laughs> it's like grabbing it like really Hi. hard. Oh, what is this? Fuzzy I'm thing. not a cane. Excuse me. 
Oh, sorry. I, I, you, forgive me. I can't see anything. I will have to borrow your head for a quick uh, moment. If that's all right, please. But I'm not a cane. I need to move around. Yeah, I know you're not a cane. I just can't see anything. Could you please hold my hand? I get upset because it looks like he's making fun of me, so I'm gonna bite his hand. <laughs> I refuse. I refuse to be a cane. <laughs> and, uh, so, uh, do, do I, what do I do? Here? No, yeah, well, you didn't get any damage, but you did definitely hurt. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Guys, I think there's there's another cobalt around here somewhere. What is this on my hand? Uh, can I shake hey, it off? Did you just call me a cobalt? No, I thought I there was another. You. Why would you Ooh. bite me? I didn't do anything. I just need help. Oh, that's my hand. Please, please, please. Let, let go of my hand. It hurts. I stopped biting him, mm -hmm. but I kicked his feet. <laughs> oh. Don't ever do that again. Uh, it's it's quite hard to tell what I'm doing when I can't see anything. You know that, right? Please, somebody help. Uh, fucking help me, for Christ's sakes. I'll help you by telling you do not take a step backwards. I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery and make like a cobalt voice come from behind the Aaron and say, I'll eat you too. Oh my god. <laughs> I, I turn around. That, that's not how yeah. vicious yeah. mockery works. I, I just run. I just oh, run. Sorry. No, sorry, not vicious mockery. Oh, what was it called? Uh, Press the digitation? Uh, minor illusion. Minor, minor illusion, illusion sure. <laughs> then you cast your minor like, <laughs> you 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 like illusion. Meanwhile, Asylum is there and he's just trying to hold back his laughter. He's like, oh, look at this. <laughs> I, I, I'd like to just run from the from whatever I see or hear and just go. I, I don't know what's in front of me, but I just sure. Go. Then like you, you like because because like we were being scared really by these three. You ran like really dim. You you ran like you're not really exactly sure where you're going. You can only see probably around you like five ten feet around you. Uh, you're not even sure which one is the wall, which one is like a turn, and you get a little bit deeper. Um, please roll. Um, you know what? I'm not going. Uh, I will roll something. So, um, at some point, you're basically, uh, stumbled upon something. So, please roll a dexterity saving throw. A dexterity saving throw. Oh, yep. boy. Uh. Ooh, 15. Ooh. Um, you, you're running quite fast, um, but, but with enough, I guess, respond, uh, like, reflex time. You, you see, um... You almost stumbled upon like this um, corpse that's lying on the ground. You immediately like, avoid it to, to the side, but uh, you slide and then you're crouching right now. And then uh, your eyes met basically this um, creature, like a kobold, but wearing a... Uh, just this minimum clothing, and around the clothing, there's there's some uh, scales that are actually like this yellow scales around. And... Um, the kobolds have uh, a little bit of like things that that's a, um, that can glow in the dark, so you can see a little bit around. And like the, you, your eyes met, and the kobold is literally like holding this um, leg of a corpse under uh, on the ground, like a corpse of a uh, a human being. Um, you're not exactly sure. It like looks like an adventure. So like, <laughs> and, like just, the, the kobold just hits. <laughs> And then, like, immediately, like, walk back really fast while dragging that corpse away from here. <laughs> this is terrible. This is fucking terrible. Guys, help. Help me. Somebody help me. You're oh, doing guys. great, honey. Honey? Nice climb. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna play him, I'm just gonna play him a little ditty on my, uh, what instruments do I have? Let me check. I think I've got a loot. But yeah, I've got a loot. I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna whip out my loot and be, and be, and, <laughs> And be like, poor oh, little Tyrion, he's lost his way, running around in a cave with not a with not a thing to say. Boom, 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 boom. Well, at least I can hear um, this this guy is like, going to coming to coming to. My goodness, I do. I I am loving loving your company very much. I, I, you said I, I tripped. I tripped over and fell. You said, right? Um, you're, you you didn't fell. You just uh, you're oh, just no, crouching right now because you avoided yeah. like uh, the uh, the cobalt and the uh, corpse. Yeah. It's still dark for me. Okay, wonderful. All right, I'm just going to. I'm just accepting my fate at this point. Just stand <laughs> here and just wait. 
<laughs> sure. The other three? Wait, wait a minute. Why is there a cob uh, a dead kobold body here? Did they murder their own people? Weird. I don't know. I wonder. Well, perhaps somebody should, should investigate it. Is anybody mm -hmm. good at that? Maybe you should it. try. Oh, my, Arish, my of I'm 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 quite aloof. I'm afraid I don't really, I don't really have the brains for it. Well, I Are guess we it's up to our human then. You really want me out of everyone here to look <laughs> at the body when I can't see shit? Hey, have a look at the corpse, boy. Hey, have a look at the corpse. You have hands, don't you? I didn't you know, ask to I will, look at it. I will attempt to investigate whatever is in front of me. Sure. Um, uh, like I say, um, the uh, the kobold who, uh, who was running from you just a few seconds ago, are uh, it was holding this uh, the leg of the corpse and then just ran oh, drag back and, and dragged it away. But um, looking down, you oh. see there's, there's there's still some remaining of the corpse. Basically, the 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 leg is you know snapped off of the body. Um, so what you see uh, on the ground is not actually a corpse of um, kobold. Uh, please roll your investigation check. Oh shit! What? I thought so. It's alive. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said it was like the, running the away. Kobold was alive, like, and like, the corpse, like, the, the corpse is a human corpse. Uh, <laughs> this is even better. So so blind. He has no idea. He's like, it's a corpse. <laughs> it's a corpse. <laughs> It is a corpse. <laughs> it's a corpse. I was like, oh, okay, Theron, uh, with that investigation check, um, you look down um, from the top of the head to the tip of the toe, or at least um, of one leg that still remains there. Um, you see that this corpse is of a human male, is wearing this leather armor the standard leather armor and car and also carrying a wooden shield um not that far from the corpse probably just a few feet you see a sword a short sword that is just lying on the ground already rusty um the corpse itself is not exactly that old it's probably it's it's not even a month old um and looking at the get up and the belongings of this corpse you know that at least the, uh, you at least know that this um one body is a body of uh, an adventure coming from Ferda Vento the the town that you guys just came from uh, well, probably taking care of a mission in this cave not too far ago, not too long ago. Um, is it still warm? I feel like the body's still warm. Hmm? Is the body still warm? Oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's already month, really cold. It's like it's, oh, it's, 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 okay. it's weeks old, but not the, not one month old. Like it's, 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 okay. it's not recently dead. It's like it's just already cold like some parts already um what is it uh decomposed a little bit by bit um but one thing that you know from that investigation around the, the clothing around the the armor and the body itself that uh, um doesn't look like this man fought some kobolds there's no bite marks nor um any uh claw marks but you can see just this huge scorch mark around its like his chest that spreads around through like his um vein and all like as if like this like just some uh as if he was just struck by lightning oh. i think theron gets kind of anxious does a deep gulp and explains to the group sure <sighs> Guys, I, I don't believe that the only thing we have to worry about down here is uh, kobolds. Something burned him. 
I mean, robots have figured out fire, lad. It's... But why wouldn't they have, you know... Just only fire? Is what's weird. I don't... I don't think... Our, our little friends here were uh, responsible for or this this lad here was. Perhaps yeah. there was infighting. Perhaps there was some kind of uh, funny prank one of them played on the other. Hey, let's see how many shirts I can wear that'll stop a fireball. And, well, maybe he didn't wear enough shirts. I really don't think. My friend, I understand your worries. We are in a cave. We are trapped. But truly, honestly, I don't think it's that deep. I believe we should just investigate the cave as best we can, and if we come across some great fire-breathing monster, then we shall simply cross that bridge when it comes to it. There's no need for anxiety. Do you understand? Well, I'll be my guest. I... Seems fire... like a lot more than we anticipated for. This fire doesn't seem... breathing monster. Anne-Reese, what was that little emblem thing you found on the kobolds? The fingers or the ring? Which one? The third thing. What? I only the... got two things. No, I'm pretty sure you found a little statuette of something. Are you making stuff up? Because I don't have those. <laughs> you found a little statuette of a dragon head. I, 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 I believe you misheard me saying tattoo. Oh, tattoo. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay, Kaftis? Fire. Okay, okay. Maybe Kaftis needs to get out of here. Dragon, didn't you? What? I can't hear you over <laughs> the Aaron. <laughs> yes, the Aaron does say? speak quite often. My apologies. <sighs> Good. He should apologize. Did you not find some emblem of a dragon? I did see someone on the name. Hold on, let me let me check again the marks. So I go closer to the dead body. Oh, this looks very weird. It, it looks like a thunder. But how could there be a thunder in the cave? That is so weird. There's some forces here. And I'm not too sure. I'm a little bit scared. But I think we should venture further. Maybe we could find some clues and stuff. I agree. We won't find much by investigating a few scorched kobold bodies when there's so much more of this cave to explore. Come on! Yes. Aaron, you should lead the way. There's certainly no kobolds right in front of you or anything. Go ahead. I... Yeah. Let the man I, I who can't see lead the way. Go on, Aaron. Go on. Maybe I shouldn't have that. I did have... No, 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 no. I, I think uh, I would rather be staying in the back, if anything. Uh... Surely, someone as, uh, you know, brave and um, murderous as you, is that the right word? I don't know, would like to take the charge, right, Koftis? Oh, I'll, 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 I'm, I'll, I'll do it. I fancy seeing what's at the end of this cave. Come on, everybody. I'm just going to march, march ahead, Bilbo Baggins style, like I'm going on an adventure. Sure. Um, with Callum's lead... All well, four of you march into the deeper parts of the cave. Until you reach this branch of the path, going right and the left. Looking at the left one, the what's inside that cave, like that, that part of the cave is... You can see like some um, brighter glimpse of lights coming from there. The light is um, it's of, of this blue light just shining through the darkness throughout. It's dead silent though. You can just hear some uh, running water. Just um, the the sound is coming from there. Sound of running water. Well. Uh, to the right, you can see that the, the darkness of the cave just extended there and still you can hear um, just really faintly that 
voice again. There's this conversation between this loud and then deep voice and this, um, the higher pitch ones. Uh, because you're leading the march, I want you to please roll a perception check. Callum. Callum? <laughs> Callum's leading. Oh, I'm so, I'm so, I'm yes. so sorry. I was reading my list of abilities trying to figure out what I had. Um, <laughs> very, very sorry. Just the last like, Perception. Just I perception, can't. Jack. Uh, all perception. Just like, perception. Of course, of course, of course. Eight. Eight. Um, well, you're not, you're still not sure, exactly sure. Oh, but, um, but at some point through that, like the, the echo of the voice again heals like again. So. <laughs> Tyrion, what are you talking about? This sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to go this way. This is exactly what right up my alley. Should we go towards the lights? Maybe we should go towards the lights. I like lights. I like being able to I, see. I, uh, Tierra, I I'm gonna, like I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna grab, T I'm gonna grab Tierra by the arm and be like, "Come on, boy, let's go towards the squabbling giants." Can I make a contested strength check? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> so you want to go to the light when, while the others are pulling you there? Uh, who's who's pulling Tierra in there? I, I'm um, going towards the light. I just... I'm gonna, okay. pull towards, I'm gonna pull him towards the big boys. <laughs> sure, <laughs> then you guys. Um, I I think uh, Callum and Theron, please roll. Uh, Edge of you, please roll. Uh, athletics check. Athletics. Go. Yep. Athletics. Fourteen oh, and oh, seven. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> Theron, as, as as much as you want, you know, like to go to the light. You're, um, I can't exactly, it's like, are they your friends? Um, they're just, uh, well, these people, or at least this one elf is literally pulling you with him. And you, like, no matter how, uh, no matter how much you try to, like, to realize yourself from him, um, you just can't, like, he's much stronger than you, and then you're, you're literally being dragged with, uh, you know, the others. God damn it. Come on, boy. It'll be fun. You never know what might be the end of this tunnel. Adventure, treasure, terrible monsters. I mean, we're all very, we're all very capable, you know? It doesn't, it doesn't I'd really rather be there. going back to my yeah. shop, being at home, drinking oh. some nice warm coffee, maybe oh. tinkering with some more, more of my toys, but I, I, didn't, I don't think I want to uh, quite die this oh, early. Get a load of the human, not ready to die. Should have made peace with that a long time ago before you came into some ominous cave with the... With I the never imagined it would be this bad. I didn't think we would get locked in. There would be all these threats and dangers everywhere as we go. Well, this you thought bad. wrong. You thought wrong. Some of us are out here trying to make a difference. Some of us are out here trying to have a good time. And you're getting in the way of my good time. I'm so you cut this. Do something. Listen, I am trying to I'm, I'm I'm trying just to casually bottom. pulled out an apple. I'm eating the apple against the cave wall. I'm good. How did you get an apple? <laughs> you don't carry trail food? No. Well, All right, let's just go. Let's problem. just go. Let's just follow. Caleb, and get this over with. Ugh. As we all let Kuftis, uh, Kuftis eat an apple so he looks more like an asshole. Yeah! Uh, ding! <laughs> <laughs> um, you guys make your way deeper into that cave. A little bit Kuftis. deeper. A little bit deeper. Ten feet by ten feet. You just kept, like, walk, uh, you kept walking inside. Um... Marching really slowly, in case, just in case, dangerous things can arise around this, um, supposedly dangerous cave. What you can hear more clearly now is the, is this conversation that's going on between this real, again, deep and loud voice and a high-pitched smaller whiners. 
What do you mean by humans? Not just humans, my lord, but there's an elf too, and, and how the dead, no, I don't need the details. But what did I say about keeping the settlement a secret? You see, like, at some point you guys um, get closer to this um, opening in the cave that looks a little bit more like... Um, a makeshift settlement. There's like small um, buildings out of woods here and there. And in the middle of that is this just this open area with um, kobolds just kneeling down. While one of them that looks like um, that, that, that is dressed like a shaman kind of thing, like holding this huge um, staff with his uh, hands raised, he's looking up and then on the wall in front of them is um, shaped by the lies that are um, bouncing around the wall of the caves. Is this uh, shadow, the silhouette of a dragon, like this really huge dragon head is just projected onto that wall. And again, I... Well, it's all right, and they are going to die anyway. They're mortals. They are not exactly a match for me. The lightning dragon and goes like, Well, of course, of course, my lord. Uh, so, what should we do if we find this, um, this adventure? Just let them be. I don't need all of you. To die and stop giving me all the resources that I need. Well, of course, my lord. We all just collect things for you, for your protection. Yes. <laughs> you can hear that conversation going on in that whole settlement. What are you going to do? I think he's talking oh. about us. Yeah, say, I do think he is. <laughs> now, I, I'm, I'm going to kind of call a little group huddle. I'm like, guys, to me, all right? Now, I know that they're all very aware that we're here, and there's a high chance that if they find us, they'll kill us, but I reckon they've got some goodies over there. Does anyone want to try stealing anything from the camp before we load, before we leave? I think maybe we should get out of here rather than steal anything. That, that sounds like a better idea to me. It I don't would know be really. N now listen, Tieran, I understand, but it would li listen. It would be really, really funny if we made off with something important while they're actually talking about us. That would be great, wouldn't it? Like, I, I fancy being able to tell that next time I go to the tavern. I... I'll try. I'm small, and I'll click. Ah, yes. Halflings are quick and light on their feet. Very good. Should I roll for stealth? What are we going to do? We're gonna steal some stuff. Oh. We're gonna try and see if there's anything in the camp that we can make off with before we before we leave. Sure. Um. Anyone who wants, or anyone who wants to get closer to the settlement, please roll stealth check. I'm gonna get Hell closer yeah. as well. Um. Before the halfling does, I'm just gonna tap her on the shoulder and be like, "Good luck. You might die, but I'm willing to risk that." I'm gonna cast guidance so she can add a d4. Oh. I so, am going to stand right by Koftis without doing anything and sure. just observe whatever the fuck they are doing. <laughs> I see that, um, Callum, uh, you're old at an 11. While, um, and Reese, you can, um, roll, uh, another d4 because of the guidance that, uh, that, um, Koftis gave you. Yeah, so that's an 8 in total um sure uh and Reese <clears throat> you're a halfling you are small enough to get through the uh the gaps between build with the gaps between um the buildings and the uh and like some pillars and you you get closer to to that settlement um Looking around, entering that someone, you looking around, um, other than the um, 
the places that looks like um, the Atlas air quote homes for this kobolds probably you also see some um pillars and statues of um the of, of dragons that, that have these ornaments in the shape of a dragon and there's this one huge statue of a dragon in the middle uh they all are in the same uh color scheme like around like yellow orange-ish thing and, um, can you read Draconic? No, I... nope. Sure. Then, um, in some of the pillars, some of the, uh, buildings also, and, and on, uh, underneath that one statue in the middle, you, um, you see there's a lot of, like, writing and writings in some language that you think is Draconic. You've seen Draconic before, but you can't, you just can't read them. Um, so you're not exactly sure what those writings are. Um, at some point, you reach this, uh, pile of things. It's just um, valuables, you know, like um, uh, swords, um, gold coins, uh, and um, other things. There, there's a lot of jewelries, and that like some of them are, uh, some of them look older than the others. So it looks like it looks like this pile of like valuables that are put like over time by this people that that are being collected over time by this um, cobalt, and um, they are all put in this tray. That have a, a few candles around it, and like there's some symbols of the same um, dragon symbol around the nape of the kobold that you saw before. Um, Ooh. before before um, even get to touch all of these things, Callum, you rolled a, an eleven on stealth. Oh no. <laughs> So please, oh, no. please roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh. That's you, Voxy. Voxy. Oh, I thought I thought I, I thought you were talking <laughs> about. Callum. I thought you were talking yeah. about, about about Millie. My, my yeah, bad, it's my okay. Bad. It's okay. Roll a dexterity right, so saving dexterity, throw. Dexterity, you said. Oh, yes. M Millie did good. <laughs> Millie did good. Yeah. I did not. 12. Um, let me see. Let me see something. So, uh, I believe it's that one. Uh... Oof. Okay, sure. Sheesh. Oh, <gasps> oh my. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh. Uh -oh. That's a, I didn't expect that. <laughs> On a pod. Oh my goodness. At this point, Millie, you see like from deep, like there's this, um, there, there's another path leading deeper into the, 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 uh, the settlement. There's just this, um, that probably leads to a deeper part of the cave. And from there, you see like just this glimpse of light. And suddenly, this lightning bolt just immediately um, shoot out from that place and struck Callum. Poof, you're Callum, you're, you're pushed back and you got 31 lightning damage. I'm dead. That's a I lot. I have 31 health. <laughs> oh my god, that's a lot. I just got hit once. Uh, <laughs> you're, you're, poof, you and you fell down immediately. Out for the count. He's a bard, he's not very tanky. <laughs> I just sort of, I take it and like, right as I'm about to pass out, I just go like, <laughs> And, and <laughs> at this point, you can, you can hear like this echoes like, What are you doing, my followers? Get all the valuables! And like all the kobolds in the middle of the scatter like going, and like they're all, most of them are going towards you now, um, Andres. They haven't um, noticed you there, but they're they're good. Like some of them like try to get get like all those valuables in the, like into these bags and everything. What they're going to do? Uh, 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 I run away! I run! I, I'm gonna run! I'm gonna run! Sure. Uh, I'm gonna run towards <laughs> towards my friends. Please <laughs> help me! 
Who said we're friends, damn it? Ah! You can't be doing it! I know what I'm doing! <laughs> 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 Can I offer you an apple in these trying times? <laughs> <laughs> no! Let me go to you guys! Run! 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 run, run. You know, it's quite ironic From that shot he... he... shot top in one minute. <laughs> 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 so what are we going to do? Are we just going to... Okay, sure. Where, where are we going? Uh, we're gonna run all the way to the to the fourth uh, road. The, and yeah, and, and go to the other side. Please. Sure. How many Who enemies are there, Rizzo? Um, a lot. Too yes. many. <laughs> Too many. <laughs> Too many. Why did he have to go? <laughs> yeah, but we can't, we can't just leave. We can't leave our elf friend here. Even though he is a bit of a dumbass, we, we might need him. He's um, yeah. dead! Carry oh, him. Dead? Carry him, Thier, and I'll buy you some time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I, I'm going to cast attempt. Fireball on the front group of enemies. <clears throat> Fireball? Yeah. Sure. But during that time, yeah, then, um, grab Elon. Sure. Out of um, Theron, you you grab uh, Callum immediately, and then you you, st you start running with um Anne Reese. At this point, uh, please roll the damage for the fire bulk of this. Um, ooh, dirty fire damage, like this, ooh. Sure, you sand that ooh. fireball in the middle of that settlement. Poof, a lot of, like, those, um... I will roll a collective roll for, uh, the cobalt. That's big damage. Uh, I will roll it th three times. One, two, and three. Ooh, ah. Uh. You see, like, ooh. sanding that thing, 30 fire mature, like, a lot of, like, creatures around that place. Almost, like, all of the, the kobolds are flung to the side. There's, there's the, like, the building start to, like, to catch on, uh, catch on fire and start to fall down. Some of the kobolds, like, run, 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 grab all the valuables and run. It was, like, some of, like, me, me, like, running towards, like, the deeper part, uh, part of, like, the, the cave and slowly like all those buildings just um fall down <laughs> some of like the the wooden pillars that that support um, uh some of the the the, the structures that is above that's like that's hanging off like the ceiling start to fall down <laughs> and like they they block off like the um your path into that that cave so you, you can only go back well um and then after this point you see um you see the the other three already. Uh, well, the other two uh, ran back uh, carrying um, Callum. But please roll me a perception check. Ooh, okay. Seventeen. Mm. You see, um. Within that split second, before uh, before all the buildings colla uh, collapse and and block your vision to uh, that area where the lightning came from, you just mm -hmm. at a glimpse you see this eyes, this this uh, yellow eyes lighting up and with and with, with this light just bouncing off the wall of the cave to the horn, this majestic horn around the head and like this open mouth and all the fangs are inside the mouth you see this thing. Just <laughs> a glimpse oh of that yeah. thing and uh, before it's gone. What they're going to do this. Bonus action within the time that I see that? Hmm? Can I do a bonus action within the time that I see that? Uh, okay, well, what, are, what bonus action do I get? You hex? <laughs> hex. <laughs> I hex the dragon. <laughs> um, wait a minute. Can, up to you, up to you. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. no. That's, um. I'd say. Sure. Sweet. But one thing is a little bit weird as uh, you try to cast that hex. Um, well, hex lets you um, curse. You know, like you, the, the, the spell itself lets you um, curse a creature that you can see within the range of the hex spell. 
with the hex, mm. basically, right? So um, basically, you technically get to choose. I just send that arcane um, weave towards the dragon. Instead of one dragon, you can feel the existence of three entities, like three living beings around the same area. So um, just choose one, two, or three. Um, two, I guess. Nice and in the middle. Sure. I will keep that in mind. Oh, shit. And oh. Uh, then I'll start, like, retweet, retreating with the party, but just while going. <laughs> sure. <Retweet. laughs> <laughs> then you take a, a few steps back and, and go with the, the others. Um, Callum, it's okay. You are stabilized. You don't need to draw any of that safe, but you are still unconscious. I have a spell that could help him. Should I use it? Up to you, he may get us found again. No potions. You know, you know, I kind of like him better like this. Dead? Yes, it's quieter. No, not not dead. It's just more peaceful. Unconscious. Okay, never mind. Get him off. Me, 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 me. Who is carrying this guy's dead body? I will not. I don't like this. It was the Aaron. I, I, I drop him. <laughs> sure. And he's still not awake, huh? Nope, not at all. You're just wrapping him. I thought you said you had something that could bring him back. I don't want to use my precious spells, just in case. Well, we can just leave him it. here. That's true, but... You know, the kobolds might come in mistake him for a meal. No, I don't need... <laughs> no, I don't want to be eaten by a cobble. <laughs> well, it's up to you. I'm going to start walking back to the fork in the cave. Andres, um, you're the... You're, you are the expert with... I don't know, the magic? He's not dead. Yeah, he's he not dead. can only revive one... That per creature. Hmm. Should I use my spell? Oh, don't stew me in soup. <laughs> what spell are you going to use anyway? Revivify. Revivify? Um. Yes. I don't think you need to use revivify. Oh yeah. yeah That's I only if they're dead. like dead, dead. Yeah, he's yeah. not dead, dead. So um, you don't need to use revivify for that. Um. Nope, I don't have any healing. <laughs> no one has okay. healing word? Oh, wait, no, <laughs> no we can't heal. You stay I just realized forever. too, yeah, you guys don't have any healers. <laughs> Can I say like, oh, we have a, I have a healing potion on me. You have a potion? Um, mm. uh, no, a you don't piece? have a, you don't have a potion with, uh, a, a potion with you, okay. Theoran. But probably the corpse of the adventure in the middle, probably they have it. We're not sure. If only I had an apple. <laughs> <laughs> Are you talking about the corpses of the dead kobolds in that room that the fireball was unleashed? The human adventure. No, I mean the, the, the human there. adventure I'm before. The human oh. adventure. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, uh, th th in that case, I, I'll go back to the body and try to... Well, if I can make my way back, I'm blind. So. <laughs> Andres, Andres... Well, uh, not, not exactly blind right on, now because... I, um, can I use my strength to slap? Him? Maybe he'll wait. Maybe he'll wake up. <laughs> You're gonna make him fail with death saving. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to kill him probably with a slap. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, I feel like a slap would be. Oh like, my God. You. Sure. Why don't you try? Maybe it'll wake him up. Theron, would you like to do the honor? Or sh um, should we do it together? We should do it together. Yeah. It, it might. It might be uh, equally as doubly as potent. I mean. I don't know, my, my mother used to do this to my sister at one time, but we could, we could try, yeah. Okay. Sounds, that, sounds hard. that actually explains a lot about your personality. Oh my god. So, um, Theoran and, <laughs> <Thierren> and Andres, <laughs> the two of you just start slapping <laughs> Callum, who's, who's literally unconscious right now. Yeah, he's, he's not waking up. The, you, you, can't, you can't, you know, recover some HP by being slapped. I wish. Uh, it didn't it. work, but that felt really good. 
Yeah. For some reason. You're right. Hmm. Okay, then. Oh, great. Uh, He's a sadist. In that case, I'll just go back to the dead adventure and mm -hmm. get the potion. Or try to get the potion. Um, sure. Uh, walking back to that um, adventure, um, you don't see any potion. Or what? at least you don't you don't see any uh, potion that is uh, any files of potion that is that is still full. You see that his uh, he has like a bunch of um, the files that are there already um, and they're already gone. It's like it's already empty. Maybe like this guy already used them. But um, one thing um, that you know at least from uh, adventures like this, they never. Um, walk in uh, to a cave alone, so probably his friends or his party members um, have some, but they're not exactly sure where they are. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, I have an idea. What um, a baggage. Yes? Do you think they ran off from that room that they were all gathered in? I doubt it. That's their settlement. So if we go back, there are probably uh, more people. We couldn't get through there anyway. I I took exactly. down a lot of the cave. That's true. Uh, Fuck. Should we just walk towards the one, the fork road with the light? Maybe there's like yes. some sort of water source in there. Yeah, maybe we can find something along the way. Maybe, you know, I I I feel like that our our dead adventurer friend over there could have a friend, too. That's still here. Or maybe we can find something, if anything, to to help uh, our our elf. I like the way Anriz is thinking. If we find a water source, we can at least give this one, and I'll kick Callum a bit, a water Ooh. burial. I'll do it harder. <laughs> what the what fuck you stepped on? <laughs> Me or Callum? I'm not oh, gonna this guy. I, I, maybe I misheard that. Let's just, yeah. Let's move I forward. didn't hear anything. I don't know what you mean. I hope he's not pretending to be asleep. I'm just going to drag his body. He's sure. a bard. It's what they do. All right. Um. So where are you going? The the other one? The other part? The, the other way. Path. We're yes. going the other the, way. Um, the, the better choice. Sure. Um. As we start going, I'm going to say, and for God's sake, be quiet this time. I'm going to get stealthy. Oh. I'm also going to be stealthy. Then I'm everyone to... roll your stealth check. How are you guys going to be stealthy when we're carrying... <laughs> natural well, one, baby! Don't say that, because you say that he got natural one. <laughs> 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 That's on you, Millie. <laughs> Uh, that, is, that is perfectly thematic. You are dragging an unconscious body. You should have gotten that. She's snoring all over the place, too. And I can't control the snore. He's not only snoring, he's narrating. He's bantering while he sleeps. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. So now he starts singing in his sleep. Uh, oh, he, he's he's he, he, Give us a song, Moxie. Yeah, he just... He, he just having this conversation in his in his sleep with with whatever it is it's a long way to get daddy. it's there, a long way oh my god it's more annoying than he's sleeping when he's a awake long way to tip daddy, to sweet so um i mean i believe you have a revive spell right i do have a way to fix this <laughs> my hands start glowing <laughs> uh, finally, you start to show your spell. <laughs> Why didn't you say it earlier? Now we have stuck here with this bard thing. Have a way, oh have that. Oh my god! I'm okay, going okay. to grab a handkerchief from my pocket and gag him so he shuts up. <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's a long, long. You just, long, you just take this handkerchief and like stuff it like there. Um, just because of that, I will let you roll another one. It's okay. I will. I will let let you re roll You'll this one time. Thank you. <laughs> Please. Okay. Okay. That well, it's more It's there. You go. <laughs> um, the gag works. <laughs> um, it's um. He's he's not ex uh, He's not that quiet. 
yeah you know but but, but at least the muffled mm-hmm. voice of this unconscious mm-hmm. cl that you're carrying is um, at at least you know subtler than before um theorem because you're carrying um callum uh and you practically can't exactly see anything from uh the that that part of the cave um you are uh walking a little bit behind um Kuftis and uh and trees well uh, um the the three of you just march into that part you start to see trails and trails of um blood from multiple um creatures going around that cave and into this bigger part that with with the with um what uh, th- this body of water that just flowed to some parts of the cave and uh, that's lighting up it's it's um it's not exactly reflecting any lights from any sources it, it it literally acts like the source of the the light around it. It is so um the whole cave just lights up from the bottom of the body of water um you you start to see like a bunch of other adventures and um luckily for you guys uh you found um this couple of adventures basically who's leaning back to a wall um, they're dead. It's a um, it's a couple of corpses, um, but at least you can see uh, one of them is holding um, a few uh, files of um, healing potion that that from the pose or from the the form of the corpses. So like one is trying to give like the healing potion to the other one, um, but well look like they failed to do so before they died and uh, so yeah um you see at uh, three um potions of greater healing Ooh. oh wonderful before we feed the potion mm-hmm. to our no, no, no. nice elf kill him, can we throw him in the water or do you think that's the reason why they're dead these adventures I mean, I think it's just water, but I also have a feeling that drowning an unconscious person isn't going to help. Maybe I'll wake him up. He's an elf you after all try. his long life. You can certainly try. I'm too small. You have to help me. No. No, I don't. I don't... I, well, this is uh, awkward. I don't have... Okay, uh, can I try... <laughs> Can I try putting yes. Caleb in the water? Yes! <laughs> you you, you to tried to put Caleb in the water? Do. Yes. Um, sure. You put him Can in I the water. For... Should I roll for anything? Like. Not, nothing actually happened. I mean, you can just drop him. Oh, you don't need to wet. carry him. Like. <laughs> He's just <laughs> wet. <laughs> Callum is wet now. I'm just face down, face down in the water with a few <laughs> bubbles coming out of my mouth. He's gagged and wet. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> That's as bad. This is quite bad. I think I uh, finally. his head up. <laughs> now we're role playing. <laughs> oh, oh, sheesh. Oh my god, I love AORZ role play. <laughs> um, well, well, this didn't work. I should Aaron? we try the potion now? Good luck shoving it down his throat. Just glass and all. He'll give me some constitution. <laughs> <laughs> I pour the health potion down his throat. Sure. Or one of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, uh, that that was wrong. It's not the greater healing. It's superior healing. Uh, yeah. Really? I, I I forgot the name of the 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 one above greater. I usually just say. A potion of even greater healing. <laughs> I don't <laughs> think that's the name. Uh, yeah, it's, it's actually superior healing. So, um, Shoto, please roll an 8d4 plus 8. Mm. 8d4. So, slash R space 8d4 plus 8. Plus 8. Yep. Uh, 31, oh, you're full oh, out. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, 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 nice. oh his damage. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'm just, just imagining. Like, I've been fucking unconscious this whole time, and I literally, like, in one fell swoop, just spring to my feet, like, I'm you're back. Oh, where did I go? Oh, that was incredible. I had the most insane dream. I saw, I saw a great, a great dragon consumed in a ball of lightning, and then there was singing, and I felt like I was gagged and in some kind of a, some kind of a bra. What, what, what did you guys do to me? Well, you're wet right now, so... Uh, oh, I'm you, wet! Uh, you know, you don't shut up even when you're dead. Well, yes, wouldn't you want, wouldn't you want me to keep talking? I'm so devilishly hilarious. Oh, I, I, I coughed this. Was this the right decision? No, no, it wasn't. I told you to go with the water burial. It was shit. Well, it's too late now, little man. I love his dead body there. I'm not, not gonna lie. I know I... Can I keep these other potions with me? Just in case? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would I like I... one, please. No, I'll keep both. I don't trust you. I would like one, please. I was the one who just saved all of your lives by wasting a spell slot. I would like a healing potion. No. I think no one trusts you here in this group. I literally okay, saved but... all of your lives literally six minutes ago. You saved yourself. You didn't save anyone. I died. <sighs> kind of I I think <clears throat> I think it's okay if uh, Anries wants to hold the, the potions we can grab it Jordan. if need be if in case anyone anyone needs it right yes keeper of the saying. potions eh? very good very if good she gets hit by lightning we have no revivify and we have no healing potions you know what you might have a point <sighs> don't trust him how about this? You don't trust How about I, um, you? I'm so Res friendly. Can I, can I, can I, while, while she's arguing, can I pill for one of the potions? Oh. <laughs> oh what? <my> <gasps> what did you say? I was going to, I was going to say while she's arguing with the others, can I just quickly reach down and like, and like steal one of the potions from Millie and be like, oh, I got um, it. Um, roll your, uh, your, roll your sleight of hand check. Come on. Damn, 12. Um, let's see. Uh, where is she? Andries, 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 Nightlife, you have... Well, you, your your passive perception is 15. So, Andries, you <laughs> definitely see um, Calibrex slowly. <laughs> where you're focusing on, like, arguing with um, Kuftis, you see um, Calibrex slowly reaching through that one potion of superior healing that you're holding. Um, what exactly are you doing? Well, I thought that, you know, while I, 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 mean, I mean, while Kuftis was going on about, you know, you being our only real source of, uh, of healing, I figured it might be good to redistribute the healing potions a little bit. And clearly you were so preoccupied, I thought I would grab it as soon as possible, such that if we were ambushed, we wouldn't be in any danger. I, I don't think you're... I think I'll try Kuf giving one to Kuftis instead of you, Caleb. I'm sorry. Well, that's all right you. as long as as long as the uh, as long as the party has what the party needs. I'd uh, always happy to be of service, Cuftis. I kind of give him like a little bump on the shoulder. I'll, I'll bump him back on the shoulder. Good, yeah. good, good job. Thanks, mate. Welcome back to the land of the living. I'll You're take welcome. one of the potions. Wow. I'll just smile down at the halfling and be like, "You made the right choice." I don't like this choice. I'll step on your foot. And I won't feel anything because you're tiny. I hate this team. <laughs> Should we investigate I've, I've done the dead body? But get bit by you this entire time, so I mean, we shared a slap together. Oh, don't Is sell yourself short. You also gagged the unconscious man. We all agreed collectively to gag the unconscious man. True. True. Yeah. Not oh, knowing any of this because he was unconscious, Kylum is just like, mm, oh, mm, mm. he's like, oh, did they? Oh, <laughs> hey, oh, hey, wait a minute. <laughs> hey, wait, oh, Millie, you want to you want to investigate slapped. the bodies, Millie? Yeah. Sure. Um, you, you don't really need to roll any investigation check. You, um, you see that there are at least four 
five um, uh, corpses of adventurers around this area, um, just around the entrance of this part of the cave. That's all. That's it's quite deeper in anyway. Um, one thing that you know is that most of them are uh, dead because of like because of like the same um, you can see the same uh, wound of lightning strike around their chest and um, technically you all you also see it like around the body of Callum. Um, but yeah, r- around like these corpses, you see that the same lightning strike uh, wound. Um, but some of them are, um, some of them have the uh, this um, uh, marks of like or the wounds of of them being slashed by something. You're, they, they, those are then the, the slashes. The, those wounds they look kind of clean, like something that that have like a really sharp edge. And weirdly enough, they don't exactly look like something natural. It's it's it looks like they are they they were slashed by a huge axe or sword or some sort. So it wasn't the water. There's nothing yeah. else. It appears the creatures here, they're dead. No shit. Well, uh, very perceptive of you. Yes, thank you. I, 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 just, I, just keep going forward. Right, oh, right, so. team. Right, team. Of Please. course. And now we've got light, so you can lead the way, human. You know what? <clears throat> Since you so graciously did it last time, I will do it this time for for all of us. Sure, I, I'm down. I will take the lead and go forward into this whatever hell of a cavern. Sure. Um, you are the one leading the pack now, the party. You at, at some point in this cave, um. There's no more ground to step on. There's um, you need to like to get into like the the water a little bit, and the the water is just some clear water. It's, it's a little bit cold, but there's nothing um, magical that you can feel from it. It's not exactly damaging. It doesn't exactly hurt. Just it felt good actually. Um, how high is the ceiling? How, how deep high is the, water? is the ceiling? The ceil- the ceiling is around twenty. Oh, wait, I'm breeze. <laughs> How this, deep yeah, is the water, please? Oh my god. This, the ceiling is around 20 to 25 feet tall. Okay, I'm just gonna fly like five feet up in the air and just like hover. Sure. Instead of walking. As a, um, as a sea elf, I'm probably pretty proficient at swimming, so I'm gonna offer for, um, uh, for Millie to kind of hop on my back and well, I'll piggyback her across. The, the water's not Thank that, the, the water's not that deep, it's just around your, your ankle. Oh, oh okay. It's, it's not that deep, so yeah, you can just walk through that water. It, the, uh, like the deeper it gets, like it, it will just reach like around like the um around um almost your uh what is it knees? But I I guess for halfling, you know, it it, it goes beyond the knees a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll, I'll st- I'm still gonna give her a piggyback because I'm like, hey, you don't want to get your shoes wet, do you? Sure. Um, hey, Kafkas, do you mind, uh, help, maybe, uh, I, I don't want to get wet. Um. Yeah, and I don't think he could carry both of us. I'm talking to, oh, no, no I wasn't talking about Kalen, I was talking to Kafkas to fly me over. I'm just going to stare down at him deadpan and then fly forward away from him. <laughs> see, it's well. Just massively, like, with your arms crossed. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's like, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, sure. Then, uh, just, uh, treading through this shallow, wa- uh, shallow water. Shall- um, you go through the, um, this part of the cave. And, Theron, again, you are leading the pack here, so please roll me. Am, am I? 
a oh. perception check. You, you said. Yes. You, you did oh, tell yeah. me that you're going to lead the party. I thought like everyone went ahead of me because of the... the war. Nah. Um, perception check. Perception check. Ooh. Sure. Ooh. Um, it's not exactly clear, but like from inside, you can hear like this voice of like a few creature. It's like, rum, 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 rum. Rum, rum, rum. like it's like you're not exactly sure how many creatures it is, but you, you can hear like a little bit of like the 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 voice of like the sound of like arguments going back and forth from deep within, and also. Just faintly through this dim lit place, you can see in the middle of this place there, there's this um, just a pair of something that looks like horns, like skull horn, just did um, emerge like from from the ground. It's a little bit submerged um, under the water, but you can see like those t uh, two horns and just a little bit of a tip of um of a skull of a of a creature that's um that's a large creature you're not exactly sure what creature that is but yeah you that's what you saw guys do you see that L look look that see what? does not look good the big giant horns on the skull of this whatever that is. I don't know what you mean, and I'm gonna just fly ten feet higher in the air away from the water. <laughs> this bitch, he's a bitch. <laughs> you don't need to say that clearly. <laughs> okay, okay, so this, I guess we all get silently he, agree in the... <laughs> I'd like to I'd like um, I'd like to I'd like to imagine that he kinda like mutters it under his breath. He's like, oh, he's a bitch. And I go I'm like, no no no, say it with your chest. Say it with your chest, come on. Let him hear you. <sighs> that that looks bad, right? This looks really bad, right, guys? Does look pretty bad for people who can't fly. So remember when we were talking about fire-breathing creatures? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes. And remember when you said it's not that deep. Well, I'm going to be honest. After Loudmouth over there got hit by lightning, I'm pretty sure we're dealing with lightning dragons rather than fire dragons. And there's more than one, by the way. I managed to cast a hex on one of them. There's at least three creatures out there. They may not all be lightning there's dragons, three. but there's three Why very powerful Why didn't you tell us creatures. this information Oh, early that's on. wonderful. There's three. Are you really being loud, Rout Now Is that a good idea, buddy? Uh, I feel like this might... I mean, we can't see anything, right? Maybe... Oh my goodness. We have to escape dragon. one way or another. Yeah, we do. We do. I There's no that. other way out, so we could only go in. Uh, any of us are dragon experts here? I've never, well, seen one before. I haven't seen one as well. Because everyone who goes on a dragon dies. Yeah, anyway, I, I think we should just push forward. At this point, you, you literally died just a moment ago. Well, just then oh, I did. Almost. I've I've I'm, I've ridden dragons before. Yeah, I've ridden dragons many times. I haven't died. Unreas, do you think he's lying? I think so too. Nice one, Bard. We won't fall for that. Ah, I mean, can you can you prove me wrong? Can you prove that I haven't? I made it here. Look at my build. Look at me. Look at the way. I'm, look, at, look, 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 look at look look at look at look at how beautiful I am. I could, I could have ridden a dragon any day. I could have looked at the dragon and given it a wink and it would have let me ride it for hours and hours. Well, I'm it's learning young. a new skill called ignoring the bard. I think we should just press on. Yeah. Yeah, press can I on. Actually like, can I actually like roll to see if he's, I know he's lying or not? I mean, are you lying? Callum? 
Well, I don't want to. I don't want to say. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not lying. I'm not you lying. know what? I've many I will. Um, you know what? Uh, Theo and I will let do roll insights. Sea He's dragons, sky dragons, all kinds. Theo and I will let do oh. roll insights. Well, twenty-three. <laughs> uh, is that enough, Callum? Are, are you lying? Does, does he get deception roll as a bot? Yeah, roll a roll roll deception yeah. check. Let's see how good your charisma is, bot. No! Well, well, <laughs> so close! <laughs> well, it's, um... You're not exactly sure whether or not it's a lie, but... Well, it definitely has just running his mother. Like, you're not exactly sure which one, which He's part is the, the fact, which one is a just bard. a tale. But there's definitely a lot of details that he just made up. I'll just smile and nod my head. Mm-hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Good boy, good boy, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. While they're well, messing around, can I just like prepare a Eldritch Blast and just sure. hold it and keep ready at those horns? Sure. Um then you know, you you guys are, are uh well 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 walking through this place. You you you, you made quite a distance to like a little bit of uh, it um deeper into the place and you reach basically that that skull and and it, it literally is a skull um okay you guys like around that thing and and what you can see is the skull of a dragon um for uh cuff this i want you to roll either nature or history check okay Nope. Nope. <laughs> what a dumbass. You're not exactly sure, but um, this this thing looks like a dragon. The other thing you saw before looks like a dragon. You're not exactly sure whether or not those two like match the same kind of shape or not. But well, that's at least what you know. Uh, you like, that, that's at least about what crossed your mind, um, Kaftis, like when you see this skull, this particular skull of dragon. A very well-known quote that I remember from the video game Dragon's Lair. It's a dragon. From the princess. That's all I know. <laughs> it's... Should we a very ask... appropriate game to have that line in it. Makes sense. Sure. I know, right? <laughs> Should we ask Caleb, the dragon master, if he knows this dragon? Of course. Ah, yes, I've seen this dragon many, many times. Allow me to... Um, what would I roll for this? Mmm... I'd say you can roll... Uh, either investigation check or history check. All right, let's go for history. Now, come on, please, please give me this. It'll be really funny. <laughs> <laughs> you got a natural one. We you... still died. Let's go. <laughs> well, I'm gonna you... say. I'm gonna say. You... Ah, yes. Well, this appears to be a. And I look at the horns. A horned. Um. And I look at. I look at some other part of it. A horned dragon. <laughs> ah yes, I remember my I remember my times at sea. The the horned dragons used to used to uh, give give me and my me and my crew a, a tremendous amount of trouble. But I've killed quite a few in my time. No no no, this one won't be. This one. For won't be for the other three, it's common knowledge that all dragons have horns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think we all know that dragons have horns, Caelan. Well, of course, it's a horned yeah. dragon, certainly. Ah, I see all of you mortals like to pay a little visit to my home here. What do you want if you don't want to die like all of the other adventurers? Is that you, Caleb? Leave. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not. I'm not built that different. It's okay. This? It might have been my stomach. I can't be sure. I only ate half an apple today. At this point, <laughs> we can hear like a loud like thump coming from that a little bit deeper, not that far from you guys, but like beyond like this huge like pillar. So you're not exactly sure what's coming, but they can see this this um what is it this uh silhouette of like. Huge creature. <laughs> One last warning, mortals. You have come to the territory of lightning, a dragon. 
And I am not someone who likes mercy. Nice. Well, perhaps you're you? someone who likes reason. We just want to leave. The exit behind us has collapsed. Perhaps you'd allow us through your little hovel. Uh, I have me. a knife. I have an idea. No, 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 wait. No violence yet. I have an idea. I have a plan. I'm going to kind of call a little group meeting. I'm going to be like, guys, guys. I'm In blonde. In front of him? Right. I'm blonde, right? He's a light. What does that have dragon. to do? No, 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 no. Let me finish. Let me finish. I'm going to try and convince him that I am his long lost son. <laughs> <laughs> I have during never seen his younger dragon days, he, 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 enga he engaged in coitus with a, with a young elf woman, and I was the result, and that I've come searching my father. I'm a bard. Like Final Fantasy. And then while I, and then while I do this, you guys can peek off. All right. Oh. I like that plan, Thierry. Pretty good idea. Mm -hmm. No, this is a terrible idea. Yeah. You know what happened last time you formed a plan? You got yourself killed. Well, if I get myself killed, you've got another potion, don't you? <sighs> do you hear this guy? He's still so confident him. he's gonna die. I respect it. I like that. I'm gonna, gonna push him forward like from behind and I'm gonna cast guidance on him. My man. Go get him. Sure. I would just Why have my gun at the you? ready for anything bad. Sure. So, um, Callum, you, um, well, you start to walk first. Just to confirm, oh. he didn't whisper any of this, did he? he said, oh, <laughs> it's all right. It's stage whisper. For the sake of our yeah, stage <laughs> it's for the sake of our viewers and the DM. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Let's just think of it as whispers. I will. I will. I will yeah. <laughs> it's all right. So. Oh shit! Battle oh. map. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Um, Callum. Yes. You decided to go uh, up first, and you're you're just standing there. I, I'm no. going to I'm going to walk I'm going to walk forward, and I'm going to look up at the dragon with the most adoration that I can that I can muster. Sure, like, as, though uh, I'm, as though I'm looking at something I've been I've been searching for for decades. Sure. Um, I please please first roll a perception check. Okay, here we go. Uh, hold on, I, I changed the thing. Da, 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 da. Perception. Well, that's okay. a big boy. That is a big boy. Sure. You're you're looking at uh the, the, you get close uh, to this the huge creature behind that pillar. Uh, you can see let's start to see like the details of like the, the limbs and like the, this tail that just sways and it hits like all the walls and everything. Like you see the horns that's identical to the horns of the skull behind you. Um and uh, the 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 jaws and the uh, the the fangs of this dragon, but um, you see, like as as it keep moving, it, it, it's, uh, the the move itself looks a little bit wobbly. Well, like, and then you can hear like this voice that echoes like from inside. Um, weirdly enough, the 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 voice itself sounds a little bit distorted. It's not exactly as clear as before, and you can, uh, but uh, you can hear again the the voice of, uh, stepping forward, a mortal. I don't believe so. For I believe that many years ago, you engaged in. What you might not remember to be a, a matrimony with a young elf woman, and well, I was I was the resulting child, and I never knew you. I have searched far and wide for my true father, and I believe I have finally found you. This is not gonna work, isn't it? I'm gonna clutch my heart and I'm gonna squeeze out a tear. Roll deception chain. That's everything I wanted. <laughs> Just for that with but advantage. Fuck, oh, oh wait, God. there we go, twenty-four. <laughs> Do get a D four. This is true. Oh yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Okay. Uh, so um, slash R D four, right? No, 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 no. Yeah, Already one, with advantage. So twenty-four. So twenty-four. 
Oh, you okay, got 24, okay. but... Oh, okay. And okay. What? And at this point, only you, Callum. Only you can hear this. You can hear like some other voices like coming from the from the dragon. It's like you did what? what? An elf woman? And I was like, I, I don't I know. know what he's talking about. Like, seriously, it was like, and then again, like the dragon says, like, What are you talking about? Are you saying that you're my son? And now here's now here's the trick. Learning my new knowledge of dragons from the others that they all have horns. I'm going to cast hypnotic pattern to cut to basically create a pair of illusionary horns on my head. Mm. Mm. Ooh. That's not what Ooh. hypnotic what? pattern. That is not, oh, is that what, not it what it does. does. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Um, you, you can minor use minor with illusion we with that. In the last campaign and we were sort of looser with it. <laughs> You can use a minor illusion with that, or well, technically a hypnotic. Yeah, that's that's not how hypnotic pattern works. Yeah, it's not. Damn. <laughs> uh oh. So what are you going to do? Well, I didn't. I didn't cast it yet. I didn't cast it. I didn't click it yet. Yeah, sure, of course. <laughs> I'm looking at it. So yeah. Yeah. what are you going to do? So it's purely a twisting pattern of colors. Okay, okay. We we used it for for, yeah. for, diff for different things back in the day. Mm -hmm. So I was confused. It's okay. Um, Oh, what about? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Wait. I mean, you can just cast it if you want to attack them. To be fair, it's just yeah. if you want to create. Yeah, I mean, want to just combat. attack. We are going to attack them eventually, but hmm, I'm just going to have a look at my spells, see if there's anything slightly better. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hmm. Well, I mean, if we're if um, if you guys are wanting to begin combat now, I could potentially use. Phantasmal killer, showing oh, him his fear, which, which might be having a child he doesn't know about. <laughs> oh my goodness! It's up to you. You want to you want to do that, the phantasmal killer? If only if the rest of the party is down for combat to begin right away. Because if he doesn't, if he fails the saving throw, then he'll take damage immediately. Yep. Oh, dude, this is up to you. You wouldn't if, have time. Uh, yeah, if, if 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 yeah, you don't have enough yeah, time, so it's it's just up to you. If you um, if you're going to do that, then uh, we will start to roll initiative immediately, and um, the phantasmal killer will be basically the um your turn, basically your 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 turn, like as a surprise right. to All everyone, right. basically. Either that or okay, no, I don't think charm monster is going to work. He's he's a big boy. Um, yeah, I'll stick with Phantasmal Killer. I think this will be funny. Sure. Then... Everyone... Oh, no. Also, Before uh, cast that... Cast at what, what level it says. Yeah. Um, you uh, you can only cast it on fourth level because you're uh, level eight. That's the maximum right. of the level that gotcha. you can cast it on. So... Okay. Um, just like before. Uh, again, as you try to use that, uh, just like what happened to Kaftis before, as you try to use that on this creature in front of you, you feel like there are three creatures. So one, two, or three is the question. Well, if I feel like there are three creatures, then I suppose there must be three, right? So um, creature number one, number two, or number three? No, that that is it. Mm. I'm gonna go for. Uh, Fu Chang went for number two. I'm gonna go for number three. Sure. Then yes. suddenly, everyone, you can see that uh, your friend Callum starts to cast this. Uh, this what it's called again, phantasmal killer. Put it on the thing, and I will roll a wisdom saving throw for the number three. You could <laughs> make <laughs> <Mil -mil 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 -mil> <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> Millie's got bars, what the fuck? <laughs> Repeating attack. <laughs> that <laughs> is an 18. So oh. it's a safe. Oh. Um, I believe oh. with the save, it, the, nothing happens. Uh, uh, yep. So 
at this point, you can hear just a little bit like um, when this happens, it's like you send that phantasmal killer is like at, at some at, at at some part of the dragon. It's like ah, what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? It's like it's suddenly like you, you, the, the dragon just wobbles and you felt like and, and like suddenly it reveals that like the dragon is like just this this host like around like with great like with leather and like the with scales and all and like emerge from it. It's like like suddenly like one goblin is like ah, it's like oh, wait. Nothing happens to me. You see this this goblin just uh, showing up like here uh, from that dragon. It's like, ah, 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 wait, nothing happens to me. And like from that dragon, two other goblins showed up. And wine is holding like this uh dragon skull uh, like the dra uh, like uh, the skull of a dragon head it's like one is one is, like be shaved like this winged beast and the other one like holding like this sword that looks like a tail you see like the dragons are actually like these three goblins and everyone please roll initiative a Let's wizard go. of Ozdos. there was Such never a dragon oh my i God. did i did my best uh, you got killed by a goblin. Um, for uh, oh my god, you were you're killed by a goblin. <laughs> for um, um Kuftis, uh, the one who has your hex is yeah, this one. Thank you, green boy. Oh, there are um, you, the green how boy. I, how do I add my quick draw to my initiative? Uh, your quick draw. Uh, what's your uh, what's the the bonus of your quick quick draw? I'll just add it manually. My proficiency modifier. Uh, sure, then your it's uh yeah, just roll it and then I will edit okay. manually, it's okay. A turn, a turn, a turn and Ooh, Kuftis uh sixteen uh turn eleven plus three so fourteen um <laughs> how can your interview be twenty seven? <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! shit. <laughs> what the fudge is that? <laughs> oh god! Uh, I will roll for each of this uh, goblin. You got all so... of her stats and agility. You love to see it. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the first one, the mage one, go uh, go black sander. Goblin Yes. Uh, the uh, the warrior one is called Gob Gobleon, and the other one is, I believe, is Gobunaga. There you go. Gobunaga. There you it's go. It's your time, Vox. It's your time. <laughs> it's my time. <laughs> 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 it's Goblek Sandro, Gobuleon, and Gobunaga. So, uh. First order. Um. And Reese, what are you going to do? Well. I don't have any good skills, so I think. What I'm going to do is. I'm going to. Cast a spell in mine and. Cast a protection from evil and good. Ooh. Cast a pro Ooh, protection from evil and good. Sure. Um, just click, click the spell. So, who is it? Well, I guess I should put it in front of Caleb because he's clearly in the front. I'll do that. Sure. Uh, you need to move there first because it's a touch. Uh, can I? Yeah, the range is that you can just move the. Oh, ah, cool. yeah, you can just move your That's character. So cool. okay. There you go. You're in the cave wall. There you go. You really just activated no clip. <laughs> 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 yeah, she did. Do -do -do -do. So, um, sure. Then, uh, who is it? Callum, Callum, you get a protection from evil and good from, uh, Andres. Yay. Is I'm that all? I think that's an action. Is there anything you would like to do with your bonus action? I'd like to. I like to play this for a little bit. I'm. I'm really scared. I don't have anything with me, so I'm. I'm gonna hide again. Sure. Uh, then uh, I don't think you can hide with your bonus action. So I yep. will. I uh, so you will just stay there. Uh, the first Pretty one. Much. This. Um. 
Goblexander will move a little bit like, and then you can hear like he's the one with the deep voice and it's like ah our cover like, we need to kill all of them and 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 the the other one's like yeah no shit go black sander you're the one who you're the one who hit on an elf woman who's like i did i did it that's not true and like the, that that goblin will actually um just send um uh, some magic missile <laughs> That's your daddy. <laughs> Magic missile on level uh, second, second level. So one, two, three, four. Uh, he will send like two of them, the, the two and the five towards you, Kylem. Uh, the five towards you. Um, who is it? And Rees and the last one towards you, Theron, because look, the three of you are the ones like uh, that that uh, it can see. And I was like, ah, and the descent is like four uh, magic missiles, and uh, they can't be like uh, you, you can't exactly like dodge them. So um, again, Callum, you got seven uh, damage, uh, and Rees, you got vi- five, and Theron, you got five damage, and Kaftis, what are we going to do? This one will move here, back. Oh. Yeah, it's you. Coftis. I'm Coftis. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this square right here, is that like... Can I fly to there? Or is that like... Or is that like inside the cave wall? Um, It's not inside the cave wall. You can uh, definitely uh, move there. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, um, it's a ground. So like there. there's some puddles over like the water and like there's some who are just ground. Yeah. Okay. Just going to fly right over there. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to cast... My usual Eldritch Ooh. Blast on Green Boy. Do the thing! Eldritch the Blast! Thing. <laughs> Head empty, concussy! Roll okay. uh, the Eldritch Blast. I believe two Eldritch oh, Blast. Yeah. Oh. Um, oh. You left, oh. Oh, well, yeah. 11 and 22. The 22 hit! So ro- uh, roll the damage for the second one. Okay. Uh, five and, and get, your uh, Five hex. on top of it, so it's 10. Mm-hmm. Oh, plus hex. Oh my god. So 10 plus. What does hex give me? 1d6. Got you. Yep. 5. So 15 total. 15. Oh, wait. Wait, the other one? Hmm? Hey, wait, 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 wait. So the 5, and uh, where, where's the, 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 the other 5 came from? Uh, it comes from. What's it called? Agonizing blast. Oh yeah. Blast. Um, add your charisma. Oh, the, oh, you haven't added charisma to that one roll. So sure, that will be fifteen damage. You send the other ones, like two of them. One, one uh, it can just uh, evade to like to the left. Poosh, it hits like the wall, and like, again, he you can see like the smirk on the goblin. But the other one just hits like in the face, like destroying this mask that that is yeah using. It's wearing, and that's fifteen damage on the goblin. He also gets knocked 10 feet backwards because yes. I also have repelling blast. Oh, sheesh. You are, oh, God, yeah, I forgot that you are. You are the, the, the Eldritch Blast. You're like, it's, it's pushed back. <laughs> <laughs> you are next. And like uh, the Goblex Sanders say, is that all? Come at me, bitch. <laughs> My turn's over. <laughs> sure. Hog. Uh, then Theron, what are we going to do? Right, um, are all of them mages? Does any of them have like a... a okay, sure. Uh, them has a weapon. Yeah. This one, uh, is holding, uh, a tail-shaped sword. So it's technically still a huge sword or like or okay. huge uh, great axe, but it's shaped like a tail. And this one has just just like wings, and it looks like that one can can cast spells too. Um, I can see the uh, the one with the the sword, right? Yeah, of course. Okay. Uh, um, it's in your yeah. he's in so your he's length. within my attack range, I believe. Yep. Right? I believe so. Yep. So I would like to make. Uh, two shots on mm-hmm. on this on the goblin in front of me, and uh-huh. uh, I will expend one grit point to sure. uh, make a dis- disarming shot. 
Disarming shot. Oh my god, sure. Then uh I will please roll the attacks. I believe okay. that that's two attacks. How do I do that? Uh you see in the mid in, in the middle of your uh character sheet, there's uh attack and spell casting. There's like one that I put like pepper box in. Okay. You can select that. Um, you click that. Sure, that will be um twelve and four so twelve. Uh, does 12 hit on Leon? Uh, mm -hmm. Hold on, wait a second. It should be... Oh, wait, does it apply the plus 2 already? Yep, it's uh, it's already so it's applied. So, so, so that will be uh, 12 and 14. Uh, you, you you roll the 12, so roll it again for the second attack. All right. Um, yep. Second attack. Uh, be, uh... That will be 21. 21 is a hit, so the second one definitely hits you. You send like two shots towards that 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 uh, goblin that's squaring a sword. The one just uh, almost hit like his leg, but he jumps. But the second one like hits like around like his arm that's holding the weapon. So uh, roll the damage. Just click the pepper box inside the chat. Yep. Uh, okay. And then with the disarming, it will roll strength saving throw. Uh, roll the, the pepper box thing in, in the chat, in the chat. Not, not in your character sheet for the damage. Oh. Uh, yes. Uh, we'll roll the save, uh, strength saving throw. 10 piercing damage. Uh, you managed to, like, to, to hit the hand of that goblin and and because, because like it didn't manage to like hold on to your trick shot, uh, the sword just immediately fell down. So ten piercing damage and disarming. Uh, it's disarmed. No. Mm -hmm. It is, and right. and that sword is literally ten feet from him. So it's flung, I think, back here. If they are. All right. Um. Then in that case, I would like to uh, action surge. Mm hmm. Ooh. And I will make two additional attacks against the creature. Uh, sure. Uh, uh, then you action shares and you do another attacks. Yep. Um, I will expend. Uh, I will expend uh, another grit point to make a dead eye shot. Sure. Gone. So one of them has advantage. Uh, yep. You have advantage on the R1, so uh, that's... Uh, and the second one, please? Yep. Well, uh, that's... Uh, oh, well, thank, thank God you didn't roll it with this advantage. So that's 13 and 27. Um, only one hits, so uh, the second one hit, roll the damage for that one. Okay. Um, how, does the, how does the advantage work? So the advantage is like um uh, you uh, every time you roll you roll twice anyway so uh, oh, if, it gives uh, it yeah anyways, if there's like it. uh the, if you have the advantage then we'll pick the highest one. Mm. All right. So Ooh. that 15 piercing damage. So in total in one turn 25 damage to that one. Poof, you like you push back and like the other one and because of like the like it, it's still focused on the the sword uh, and like it, it's sees you trying to shoot another one dodge down like crush down but because of that you managed like to, to catch him like on that position where you can just punish him with another shot Poof, you just push back nice. and that's 25 damage in total awesome um can i use a bonus action to reload um or... no you need to use an action to okay. reload so you need to use one of your attack in your oh, uh, next okay. turn for a reload that makes is that... sense yep is that all all right so, um, I guess as a, uh, as my movements, I will move, uh, um, probably move behind some cover while I can, so I can have some time to reload. So I'll move back here. Sure. Uh, and that's all. Yeah. That'll be the end of my, my turn. Next one is the turn of the warrior. And, um, because you did that many damage to, towards him, he, he moved back and take his sword. That's, um... I, uh, it's like, uh, we take back his sword and, uh, uh, will dash towards you, so, like that. 
but it, that's an action, so uh, that's it. It's like you can see like the 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 uh, angered goblin's face uh, in front of you, carrying a sword that you just you know disarm him from, and then um, for the uh, this one, this one will move one, two, three here, and will attack you again, Callum. That. Gobunaga will attack you with... Produce flame. God. So, um... Uh, wait, 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 oh my. Oh god. <laughs> that is a... That is a... That is, well, is nasty. Yep. Uh, so it uh, well, I tell you this, uh, that's 24 for the produce flame. Uh, that's a natural 20. Oh, uh, nope, nope. Uh, I'll drill the damage, so that will be six damage on you. Who was that? Uh, aimed at? Yeah, six fire damage towards you, Callum. Yes, oh, get wrecked. Uh, Kyle, what are we going to do? <laughs> your turn, Callum. It's my turn. Yes, right, so, it is your turn. Uh, just, I'm pretty sure, but just, just in case I don't get wrong, which, which was the one that I was like, that I was like mental booming by saying that I was his long lost child? Uh, this the one, one but with the, uh, but with the phantasmal, uh, Killer thing, you you That's you're saying one, yeah. this one, yeah. The I believe Gobble on there. So you say that's the one, though, the one that's next to Shoto, right? Yeah, the one that's next to Shoto, yeah. Okay, okay. So, hmm. Let me let me look at my spells real quick. I wanna I wanna do something interesting. Um... Could, hmm. Could I use major image to create an image of something that I don't really know what it looks like? Um, what exactly is it? So can I, so I've already made him believe that I am a child that he's had with some woman that he's forgotten about. Yes. Could I use major image to create an illusion of supposedly of the woman that he bedded and have mm. her be like, Oh! You left me behind. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and then, and then I'm gonna run forward through the illusion, just bust through it, and then punch him in the face. Um, the, you or use a dagger, I'll stab him. <laughs> well, you you can definitely try to do that with your major uh, image. So, um, but at the, uh, but you can't really stab him at the same turn because both are actions. Ah! Uh, oh right, right. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, oh, oh, could I, could I, could I use a bonus action to get, um, to get Sho to, uh, to sort of, uh, um, maybe attack while she's, while he's distracted? Um, you can, you, you don't need to use your bonus action for that. You can just tell him. All right. All right. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to, I'm going to move over here and I'm going to uh. call out to, I'm going to call out to him. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, you left her behind. She was, she was, she was lost and alone without the man, without the goblin she fell in love with. Look, look upon what you've created. Major image. Sure. Then you cast major image in front of you in, in the shape of a, a woman. In the shape, in the shape of, uh, in the shape of a beautiful woman. Sure. Then you said that right. in front of uh, the thing. Um, just for that, I will let you roll a deception check. Let's go. Okay. Uh, come on, you're a bard. You got this. Bars. Let's go, let's go. I've got a good advantage on, on deception. Let's see how this goes. Um, 14. We'll see about that later. Is that all what you're going to do on your turn? Uh, I'm based. Ah. Oh. I guess, yeah. I'm hoping that it distracts him and so that when his back is turned, Sho can get an easy shot in. We'll see. Uh, that's it? All right, yes. That's my turn. Sure. And Reese, what are we going to do? Oh, is it my turn? Yep. Um, I have literally no attack. 
<laughs> so, um, you know, uh, can I? Can I cast uh -huh. hallucina hallucinatory terrain around the ha area? Ooh. Hallucinatory terrain. Uh, sure. Ar around the Just area. Around the area, yes. Mm -hmm. Just to make sure that the, the the goblins gets confused and the damage gets more uh, higher, I guess. If they try to kill, I don't have any attack, so I'm just gonna try to do my best here. <laughs> <laughs> um, the problem with the Senator the terrain, uh, the casting time is ten minutes, so <laughs> oh. uh, you can't. Yeah, one one turn is six seconds, so <laughs> you know. <laughs> You literally need 600 it's turns for over. that. It's gonna be over until... Okay. Oh my god, I... have no attack! You don't have any I attack? I guess I'm just gonna stab. I have a dagger. Yeah, you can just run up to one and start stabbing yeah, you him. Can, you, can, you can stab oh, him with a dagger. Everybody's like, what kind of magic have we got? Millie's like... A knife! A knife! <laughs> a knife! No! <laughs> what do you got no. there? A knife! No! <laughs> <laughs> it is so, what it is. Okay, so, um, who's this goblin near. Is this goblin near kill him? I, I guess I'm gonna stab him. Backstab? Sure. Um, you need to move first, so you need to move uh, in the circle, kill him. There's a there's a beautiful there's lady there, so I'll, I get it's a there's a beautiful magical oh. lady there. I'm um, I'm also a beautiful magical lady. So I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> the it's beautiful sad. magical lady attacks. So, because of the deception and the stuff that, um, who is it that uh, Kyle made before, I will let you to roll that stab with advantage. Let's go. Nice. Uh, just it's click the dagger in the um, in in your attack stuff. Twenty four. God, it's, it's plus six. Uh, 24 oh, is a hit. Roll the damage. Nice. Uh, click, click the, the dagger in, in chat. The, the dagger again? Yeah, yeah. Just, just in the chat. The one in the chat. The one in the, the, one in the box in the chat. Yeah. Oh, they, no, look well. Uh, I will, I will, I will clear it for you. Uh, five piercing damage. You you run around and you stab that guy with that uh with a dagger uh, and yeah five damage. Is that all? Can you... I go back again and hide? Sure. Um, okay, thank you. Druid, you do understand you can change into a, a beast, right? Ooh. Yes, but do I want to be ugly? Well, <laughs> of course, that, 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 that's good priority. <laughs> exactly, exactly, really, exactly. So this yeah. mage, uh, where are you going? Uh, you, you can just move your character anywhere to hide. And uh, this uh, this mage turn, this uh, mage will move here. And um, he sees you. He sees you, Kavtis. Kavtis, he is furious. His Good. eyes is filled with vengeance, and he will attack you with... Um... You know what? Lightning bolt. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Roll a next up to the saving throw. What is this damage? Roll a next up to the saving throw. Got you. Well, you're a dexy boy. We got this. Oh, no. Nope. <laughs> well, that, well um, <laughs> see, uh, you are flying right now, and then they suddenly, <laughs> like, from, from the hand of that, uh, that that goblin, just shoot out, like, this lightning bolt that hit Kylan before. It hits you, uh, like, your, uh, like, a part of your body, and you get 30 lightning damage. I believe it doesn't exactly kill you. Uh, yeah, yeah, but you are bloody and everything. You are extremely wounded. But now it is your turn, Kavtis. And oh, like you can hear the goblin that says, "Like, <laughs> face dead." Uh, good job. And now, I think you'll find that it's my turn. I'll cast fireball. 
level oh, four. Oh, level yes, four baby. fireball. Let's go. Okay. Let's go oh, oh my damage. god! Level four. Level four oh, fireball. Uh, yep. That Should will be both of them. Ninety-six. Yeah, I, think? I can hit both of them. Yep. <laughs> Please roll the fireball. That's um. Uh, that's uh, thirty-six damage. Yeah. I will roll um dexterity saving throw for um Gobunaga first. Uh so Gobunaga will roll a uh, dexterity saving throw and yeah, failed us. miserably. <laughs> <laughs> and oh uh, the Goblin Sander will dead. also roll a dexterity saving throw and well actually oh, saved. So 36 of damage you send that fireball poof, like towards like that part of the of the cave. Poof, this huge explosion in the middle and um, it hits like some of the pillars and like it fell down in front of you and Reese like creating this huge splash of the the water as like the, the smoke dissipates you see like both of them are like on fire the um goblin sander get um 36 uh, wait no 18 damage so that will be uh-huh and you see the the gobunaga is, gets like um 36 damage and the hp is 37 so uh please Ooh. um fulger roll a d20 oh uh, yeah, this is this is my house rule. <laughs> well, ah, that's quite unfortunate. So like, poof, it gets all the damage. It soaks up all the damage. Like that, thirty-six total damage. And um, there you go. Like, but it's still standing. Like you can see, like behind all the fire that's burning its body, Gobunaga still stands. Bastard. And is that all the things that you're going to do? Um. Uh, just to check, did you also add the 1d6 to the other one, the green one, because of the hex? Um, oh, yes. Oh, no, wait, I believe hex is just for attack rolls? Oh. I thought it was uh, like damage. Yeah, whenever you hit it with an attack, that spell oh. is not, that's technically it's not a spell yeah, attack, it's just casting attack. a spell okay. attack. I'm just gonna move my 30 feet into this corner to try and break line of sight with the mage, but probably not. Sure. Then there we go. Turn. Theron, what are we going to do? All right. Um. So I would like to move as far away from this gentleman. Sure. As, me, as far as possible. I. Uh, so it's a range. Yeah. Well, I um, if it's if it's your turn, surely his uh, is his back turned by the illusion. Um. Well, yes, it's, it's looking at the illusion. Because of okay. the. No, no. Um, Tiaran, you have an advantage. Give yeah, fucking stab the advantage. button. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, but I, I, I get disadvantage if I'm in. Yep, because of the range, the I, I yeah, bit. you can oh, move back okay, and but but because of the uh, because the goblin is uh, distracted by that illusion, um, it's not going to give you an opportunity to attack. Thank yeah, you, Major Illusion. Time. So, um, alright, uh, I have to reload. Yeah. So I will spend, uh, one, one action, or one uh -huh. attack of you, one action to mm -hmm. reload. You use then, one of your attack for, uh, reloading? Yep. Yeah, and then I will use my, la my, um, second attack, mm -hmm. because of my actual attack, to, uh, shoot him in the back of the head. Sure. Uh, right. then roll the attack with advantage because uh, it's being distracted by. No, I would also, mm -hmm. uh, in that case, I'm going to add a sharpshooter to, to that. Ooh, and, um, sure. Then you will get minus oh, five no. penalty for that, but we'll see. Roll the we'll attack. We'll see. We'll see. Natural twenty. <laughs> nah. Oh. Uh, ooh, that's still oh, ahead. Good. So that's twenty-one minus three is. 18, which is exactly, which is exactly what you need. So roll the damage with sharpshooter <laughs> bonus. So that's plus 10 on the sharpshooter damage. And Damn. that will that's be, it. ooh, God, oh, 22. 22. Oh. You take a step back and then, uh, 
because of the distraction that is made by Kylum, uh, you you find an opening to just reload like all four. Like you, you throw like one of the magazine uh, that that uh, that roll of like the the pepper box like magazine and then you put in another one and then you immediately get shot like almost point blank, and then it gets um, twenty two damage in that one attack. It's yeah, he's still stealth and extending. He's still standing. Yes. What a. I guess I'm quite a high constitution. All right. Um, since uh, he didn't take an attack on me, uh, and he's still distracted by that whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, can I move over here? Is this sure. an area I can occupy? You can move over there. All right. Yeah, that's yeah. uh. Now the the warrior. The, the... All right. Oh, what? The, are you going to do anything else? Um, I'm just thinking, like, can I do anything else as a bonus action? No. Uh, sure, of course, you still can do in a bonus action. What are you going to use that for? I, just, I mean, I'm asking if there's anything I could do as a bonus action. Um, for, uh, so. other than second win, I don't think you have anything else. Okay, alright, yeah. understood. Then in that case, uh, I end my turn. Sure. Then, uh, this warrior will try to discern whether or not the major illusion is an illusion. So, it will roll an intelligence check, I believe. I'm sorry for moving that one, but yes, it's going to roll an investigation check. What's your spell safe DC, Kylum? Um, I'm sorry, I didn't think I misheard you. What did you say? What's your spell safe DC? Um, roll spell, spell, investigation. Spell oh my, ne never mind. It's a natural one. Uh, oh so God. because of that, that uh, goblin will just uh, use all of his attack towards the illusion. Like, <laughs> you're not, you're not here. I ah, see that, see that. You're not real. It's like, I can't interact with it. So like, yeah, now he knows that it's an illusion, but yeah, he just lost one turn. And was like, ah, it's you, you, I know you're not my son. I don't have a son as ugly as you. And then like, uh, this, this goblin will just move here. And that's it. <laughs> I don't have a son as ugly as you. Oh <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, it took this, some emotional damage. Yeah, it's an another. It's it's an emotional damage, the, and it's uh, the, the bard's <laughs> weapon of choice. Emotional damage. Gobunaga, with all its power, will move like uh, and Reese. This is what you see in front of you. It's like this burning goblin just slowly moving to, uh, towards you, like. You are messing with us. You move there and then we'll cast Thunder Wave on level two. Uh -oh. So oh. everyone oh. around, um, basically, no, basically just Andres and um, Kylum. Roll Constitution saving throw. All right. Eighteen. Ah, nice. Uh, Andres? Constitution? Yes, constitution saving throw. It's not- uh, oh. Oof. Oh. Oof. Sure. And, um... Oh. At this point, like around the uh, the that one goblin and like the thunder with a like uh, spreads around and and hit both of you. And uh, Kylum, you get as uh, eight thunder damage, and uh, uh, while and Reese, you get sixteen thunder damage, and then you're pushed back ten feet. But um, because behind you is a wall, you're just you're just pushed to that wall, and that's kind of it. And um, that's the only thing that it will do. Kylum, what are you going to do? Oh, also, Kylum, please roll a Constitution save for um, your major image. It's a concentration spell. Our Constitution saving three. Yeah, Con yep, yeah, Constitution. Okay. Big rolls, damn. Um, yep, there you roll good, and that's good. Callum, it's now yeah. your turn. Um, Fox, it's now your turn. 
Right, it's my turn. So, um, <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, it was, always, it was so many of my he, things. So many he of me always forgot like, that his name there's no is my, Kyle. There's no way it's still my turn. Okay, okay. Um, so because he was, so let me ask you something. Because uh -huh. he was just distracted by um, the illusion mm -hmm. and because he's right next to me, would I have an opportunity attack here perhaps? Um, you can uh, you can only have a like, opportunity attack if he moves out from your melee range. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, okay. So, all right, I'm just gonna have to. Hmm. Would I be able to um, uh, use perception to check how much health he's on as a bonus action? What on what? Uh, just what? Use, um, use perce like roll perception on him to check how much health he has left. Maybe as a bonus action. Um, I will let you do. I will let you do that as a free action, so you don't need to use your action or bonus action. Um, nice. but rather than perception, I need you to roll investigation check. Investigation. Gotcha. Yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah, natural, oh, natural twenty. <laughs> nice. Um. Uh. He is not. He he's really really badly injured, and I'm not gonna tell you the actual number, but I'd say that his uh he's on a third of his total HP. All right, that works for me. Okay. Try it. Let me have a look through my spells, see what will work here. Hmm. Dude took all those shots like a champ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know, I was like just soaking up like this tank, man. There's a tank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'd imagine those other guys in the back don't have much left though, because of uh Cuthbus's fireball. Okay, what are you going to do, folks? Alright. I'm going to use compulsion to see if I can't get him to try and make to, to, to see if I can't try and make him slam his head into a wall. Ooh. <laughs> uh hmm. There are pillars right next to him, so I'm gonna just all because all of his movement would go into trying to move right into a pillar. So I figured that must yeah, be yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. 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 Oh, the final I'd line. say um, that's not how the 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 spell works. Like it it can't act technically give damage. Ah. Um, but I will let it do it. I will, I will roll. I will roll for cons. So nice, you, nice, uh, nice. I'll okay. let you do that. So compulsion. Um, right, let's give it a go. Compulsion. I will roll a wisdom saving throw for this one. So Goblin will roll a wisdom saving throw. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. That's, yep, that's natural to my dance. I'm so oh, Come on! <laughs> I apologize. Oh. So, like, you're, you're trying to, like, to direct him, like, uh, to, uh, 20, to, uh, 20. Like, to, like, the direction uh, of your, uh, of what you want. And, um, yep, managed to save. And, um, unfortunately, because that spell is a concentration spell, your major illusion is gone, too, now. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm just gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm just. I'm just gonna. If I can. If I can still move, I'm gonna scamper off. Sure. You. You. Uh, where are you going to move? Just. Just like around here. Yes. Sure. As you move there, he will try to attack you with him uh, with an opportunity attack with his reaction. Ten is not a hit. So let's go to Andres. What are you yeah. gonna do? See you. <laughs> My role is All just right. nothing to. Uh, uh, yep. What are you going to do? Who's the one that took a lot of damage last time? The one Who's beside the one in you. In front of me? Yep. The one beside me? Yep. Might as well kill this. Oh god. Okay, Damn. I'm gonna I'm gonna stab it, stab again with my dagger. <laughs> Beautifully. <laughs> roll 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 the attack. What a vicious halfling. <laughs> <laughs> What's this halfling with a dagger? <laughs> Elfling with a dagger is like, oh my god, a child with a dagger! <laughs> this one. <laughs> this one, right? Yep. The one in front of you, yes. Nice! <laughs> that's a, that's a hit! Do you know nice. what? It's on, eight, it's on one HP. <laughs> you, see, you just see middle of the... Like, like, with this like really weak Gobunaga, you just stab, like, you put in like that that uh, dagger like right into the heart of the goblin and like slowly like, ah, ah, <laughs> it's dead <laughs> by dead I mean dead 
Why is it every time I play D and D with Reza, a halfling? Oh my god, Millie. <laughs> yeah. What what are we going to do? Oh uh, yes. <gasps> what did you say? What did I say? I took the dagger out from the goblin and uh -huh. licked the dagger. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! What? Right. Just to what piss his friends, you take out that dagger. It's like just. You like you can you can smell the blood and like taste that iron like taste like in your tongue. It's so satisfying for you as you look at that other guy like that mage and like I just for that roll intimidation check. <laughs> <laughs> just, just Let's for fucking that. go. Roll. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's not intimidating enough because you're literally a cute little thing. <laughs> no, no one saw that. No one's... It's like literally no one saw that. Was like the mage is like focused on uh, on cuffs and like, oh like and like the the mage like no no one is intimidated by that one. But yeah, that's a that's a good one. Um, that mage will um then uh. His 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 scared. You can see like his, like his his was like got a little bit shaky. It's like it move here, I will move there, and, like hiding behind this rock, and then I will roll something, and then, um, ooh. and then he he will look at everyone like, oh, and then he he raises his arm, both of his arms, and then like, um, he he's just like. Just, 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 uh, just leave, alright, alright, all right, going to shoot you again with the lightning bolt. I have the last lightning bolt, all of you, and you all will die in my hands. Ah! And I was like, he, he, he does that. He, he say that, but um. So uh, as that thing, he will just cast um. Magic missile again. Oof. But level one this time. But but like all of these magic missiles that like, are sent like towards like um so all of you, so Kuftis, um Kylem and Theron, like the, this this three magic missiles just sent like in front of you guys like the underground <laughs> like as if like is is trying to intimidate you into like giving up and like that's it. Um Kuftis, what are you going to do? Um I guess I take that forward damage. Uh, no, 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 you guys don't take any damage, just sand oh, to like the, the ground. He was a warning oh, shot. Oh, he missed, okay. <laughs> I am gonna not be intimidated whatsoever. Uh, <laughs> of course you're not. <laughs> of course not. Of badass. course not. I am the edge. I'm gonna move up to here with uh -huh, my 10 feet. Uh -huh. Do I have a clear line of shot to hit him now? Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know what it's gonna do. Same thing as always. Double Eldritch Blast, baby. Woo! Let's go. Roll the two Eldritch Blast. Wow. Oh, fudge! <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, no. Both hits. Both hits. You, you, uh huh. Uh, so plus nine plus five? ten, so nineteen. Because both ha both got uh. The extra from like your agonizing blast, I believe. Um, so 19 plus 2 to 6, 19 plus 5, 24. You're literally like just float as if like your evil gins, like, and then like your bow over your head sliding up and you raise it and you point at that guy. <laughs> does those two beams, shit, like, and, and hits his, um, his chest and push back, uh, his push back, and that will be. And what is it again? 19 plus 5, 24. So, yeah. sure. There we go. It's still standing. Still standing. I'm just going to say the weak should fear the strong. And then I'm going to drop behind this pillar too. Sure. That's my turn. <laughs> Theora, I know what they're going to do. Ah, uh, um. Okay. It's my turn. Oh, and he moves 10 feet backwards as well. Oh, yeah, of course. I forgot uh, the repelling one. Yeah. So I would like to make another shot at this uh, one in front of me. Since uh, it's clearly, sure. He's clearly not dying. And um, I'm going to pump another grit into the shot. And 
I will make it a, uh, I get the advantage? No, I don't, no advantage. Um, I'll make it a uh, dead eye shot. Dead eye shot, sure. Shot. Then you get advantage on that shot. Roll the attack. Uh, what? Hmm? Let's see. So the first attack with advantage, that, oh God. That is a hit, definitely. All right, and. Uh, the second one? Yep. No, uh, I just want to shoot the first shot at him. That's oh, it. that's twenty damage. You don't need to roll the second one. You you move to, uh, you move a little bit five feet to your left, and then you you stand a pepper box. You use a grit. You use that grit and like to to focus a little bit on its head. And, poof, and like as the bullet just hits like the back of its head, like it, 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 it as if like there's a little bit of pause. It launched in and uh, like in one second, the poof, so like the head just explodes. And, uh, that goblin fell down, it's dead. Wonderful. Nice and quiet. Now I will move mm. over here. Sure. And take aim and make my last shot on uh, that motherfucker. So you use your bonus section to take aim. That motherfucker? Yeah, that, that motherfucker. motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll use my last grit. Um, my last grit to uh, use another dead eye shot on him as well. Sure. So um, roll the attack with advantage. Yep. Um, seventeen minus three, so that will be fourteen. Does that Let's happen? see. Oh. You see, like you, your, your, your shot is literally on point. You, 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 you aim it towards the head. It's, it's going to hit the for, the forehead. But with his reaction, he used, he cast shield, and then the shield just emerged, like Shielded from the inhaler. Like, like the bullet just shatters <laughs> in midair. Unfortunately, it doesn't hit. <laughs> All right. Um. In that case, uh, I will. Oof, so I can't shoot him then. I'm just going to clean my gun. Sure. Blood from, I got splattered from that other. Uh, uh yeah, sure. I think that's your turn. Um, no, that's my turn. This goblin can't move. That move is dead. Kyle, what are we going to do? Right. I'm just again having a look through my exhaustive list of spells, trying to find something hilarious to do. Um, <laughs> hmm. 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 Listen, listen. I don't really have much physical capabilities. I think that my my main my main thing is that I need to make this guy. I need to. I hmm. I need to make him run towards my allies so that they so that he's more vulnerable because uh -huh. he's kind of backed up into a corner at the moment. Mm -hmm. We've either got to go up to him, which might be what he wants. He's you know he's he looks like he's got some he's he's got that like uh you know all of his different powers which might. You know, become a little a little tricky if we get too yeah. close. But if we can br draw him out while he's panicked, that might be good. So what I'm gonna try and do, I'm gonna use Phantasmal Killer again, and I'm gonna try and see if I can't use it to make him run towards us, like as though something's oh, behind us. Um, it will actually do this the exact opposite reaction because the oh, he'll frightened, run away from us. Yeah, it will run. Uh, they will run away from you because of the Phantasmal Killer, because of the frightened. Mm. Uh, what is it? Uh, status, yes. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, slight, s slight caveat then. Could I sneak up and then use it while I'm behind him so that he travels towards them? Um, that is actually a good idea. Yeah, you can actually do that. All right. So let me move sort of around. Is that all right? Uh, that is all right. I, I can say that you're. Uh, we we can say that you're a little bit behind him. Yep. Yes. All right. Nice. So here we go, Phantasmal Killer. Phantasmal Killer. I Bada will uh, roll a wisdom saving throw for that. Uh, Come on, baby. 
I will roll. Where, where's where's Goblex Ender? Goblex Ender will roll a wisdom saving throw. That is plus one only, and it's not a save. Yes. It's a save. You can see, like you, you have the illusion of a small kid. like he 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 looks a little bit like ah ah. He's like he he was scared before. He was in fear of you guys, like being able to like defeat everyone. But but because of that magic, he 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 is now frightened of you. Um, we'll see what will happen to him in his turn. I just, I just, I grab him by the shoulders and scream like, like the, like the, um, you know that one Death Grip song where he goes, ah! Oh, just, nice. <laughs> <laughs> distracted by this illusion and I just scream in his face. Sure. Is that all? Yes, that's all I'm going to do. Sure. Um, and please, what are you going to do? Oh, was it my turn again? Yes, Sorry, it is I your was... turn. I was really having fun looking at this dead body in front of me. <laughs> right. Really now? Okay. Um, I'm kind of bloodlust. I'm, I'm very bloodthirsty right now. Mm -hmm. So, I go in front. Uh-huh. <laughs> and I don't know it. which one is my enemy <laughs> or not. Is it possible to stop... Stab the person in front of me. <laughs> it's like you're you're going to stab Kyle instead. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Can I roll some kind of a saving throw here? <laughs> I mean, that's a Wait, that's no, an attack I've got, roll. I've got an I've got an I've got an even better idea. Or oh. do I? Wait, no, that's 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 stupid. Hold on. That, that, that's an attack roll, uh, Andres. I mean, I I can't stop you. No, from no, let doing it do it. Let it do it. Yeah, I've got, I've got an idea. roll, roll got the an attack. Idea. Roll, roll the stabbing attack. Is it an attack or okay? I mean, this dagger, is a stab. Right? A stab. Yeah, a stab is an attack with a little dagger. Okay. Blood. Blood. Aw. Oh. Not good. Thirteen. Um, I believe your armor class is twelve, Caleb. <gasps> yes, <laughs> <it is. laughs> and Reese, you're blinded by that blood thirst as you're drenched with goblin blood. You run towards like whatever crowd that's closest to you, and you just stab to everyone who's in like extremely close here. And, like it's unfortunately it's Caleb. So um, roll the damage. For that dagger. <laughs> Roll another damage? Yeah, it If you hits. click the word dagger in the thing. Yeah, it hits. Uh, no, the, the, in the actual click, chat itself. The, in, in the actual chat. The in, in Roll20 chat. This one. Yeah, there, yeah you go. there you go. Um, Callum, you got four piercing damage from your friend. All right, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... What I, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna kind of roll with it. I'm gonna yell at um. What's the, I, I, their names are amazing. What's the name of the goblin? Is this Gobanaga? Uh, this one is Goblexander. Goblexander. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. I'm gonna scream. Ah, she was on my team and she stabbed me. She's a mad woman. Get away. Get away. <laughs> <laughs> because of that. <laughs> And also because of your fantasmal killer, uh, this uh, Goblin Xander will actually move um, away from you guys. Um, if you guys want to do like a, an opportunity attack, then it's up to you guys. You can use your reaction for opportunity attack. That's us then. Yeah. yeah All right. Um, yeah, with your reaction, with your reaction, because like in, uh, on 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 uh, the Goblin Xander uh, turn. So Mil uh, oh. Millie and Vox. Um, do you want to do a what? Uh, Can I pull Millie's attack? knife out of myself and then stab him? <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to let him do that, really? Yeah, I mean, sure. Sure. Then you, like, you have no knife. Pull, pull Roll. me as well. Pull me as well. You might as well pull me. And just stab, <laughs> throw you can me. pull the Andres out of you and then just shove the Andres out of you. <laughs> you know what? You know what? I mean, she like, is a halfling. So can I just while while she's like stabbing me, I just yank her out and then throw her like a projectile <laughs> at Goblin. So um, <laughs> technically, uh, I'd say that's the opportunity attack from both of you. So please, both of you roll the dagger attack. So, um, okay. Callum, please roll your attack with a dagger there. Yeah! 14, uh, 
and uh, 14 with and Reese. Unfortunately, um, yeah. Oh well, the shield is gone. God. Uh, so both actually hits. So um, I will roll the damage. So that will be f uh, that will be four. That will be nine damage in total. So it's you're still standing. So like, it's still standing. I was like ah, I was like, but but you sent like um, Andrew's there, and Andrew's technically stab him twice. So like I ah, move like and move there, and I was like it stops. Like ah, ah, he's so frightened, and like he looks at Tiran and. Um, and uh, what is it? Cuff test the two of them. I was like, ah, 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 I'm getting mad. Ah, like, uh, I warned you before. I warned you, mortals. Like he's on, like his full on role play as the lightning dragon. So he sent thunder, like his last lightning bolt towards you guys. Please roll dexterity saving throw. Oh shit! Oh my goodness. <laughs> the All two right. of you. What the hell is happening? <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that really uh, like is yep. Uh, Kuftis eight and Theron uh twenty two. Um, Kuftis you got twenty five lightning damage. Well, Theron you got um uh, twelve. It's like pff, just lightning uh bolt just shoot out. You got twelve them uh and and grazed you. Uh, what is it? Um, Theron and Kuftis are you dead? Not quite. Okay, cuff this. You, you're, you're, you're Santa. You, you have like this. You got this massive twenty-five lightning damage at the end of that. Uh, like as the lightning bolt just ends, as the everything just um, it's a page. I will roll uh, the last wisdom saving throw for um, Gold Alexander to see whether or not he gets that damage from fourteen. Is fourteen? So wait, wait a minute. So wisdom saving throw of Callum is like, oh my god. You see, like at this point, like this end of, and and with that, I was like, ah, with that re that fear in his eyes, and like suddenly, like you can feel like the uh, you can see like the wave, the weave of the arcane from uh the, from Callum's spell just starts to like, pressure his mind. It's like. Like he fell down, like and he just confusion and just he's dead because of your phantasmal killer. <laughs> he died from emotional he, damage. He's, he's dead, yeah, emotional, emotional yeah. damage. And Nothing kills people like trauma, am I right? Uh, at this the point, is, uh, there's no more goblins, and the goblins are all well done, lad. The goblins are all dead. I shoot his body one more time. Just to make sure <laughs> he doesn't move, right? He doesn't move. Uh, yeah, that's that's first roll of Zombie Land. Uh, double tap. Double uh, tap. Nope. Oh yeah. Nothing happened. <laughs> uh, nothing happened. They okay. are dead. Completely dead. Oh my goodness! What the hell was going on with you two over there? I I nearly almost turned my gun on on either of you. Who me? What happened? Hi guys. Oh, everyone's dead. What? Yeah, yeah everyone's yeah. dead. But uh, are we not gonna talk about uh, you? You stabbed. I mean, I would stab him too. So, never mind. Listen, listen, uh, Tiran. I understand your concern, but it was all part of the plan. The only way, see, Goblixander, he seemed seemed pretty powerful. So we knew the only way to get through his defenses was to completely mentally break him. And I mean, I mean, you, I mean, you, you, you mean you saw he was running for his life. I think he died from pure overexposure to uh, to uh, emotional trauma. I mean, I mean, really, I think, I think, I think, um, I think we, I think us, I kind of give Millie a little, a little, a little um, elbow, bu uh, elbow bump. I'm like, I think we did a pretty good job, eh? Uh, what? Yeah. At, at at this point, you guys you guys can see like a, a like a lot of like silhouettes coming from, coming out from like one one end of the, the cave and like there's like those co there's like a lot of kobolds around you guys like the rest of the kobolds in the settlement, and like one of like oh. the the kobolds like wearing this the shaman like um, get up and he he look he he, he walks slowly towards us like yes and ah, 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 the outside, outside creature. You killed the lightning dragons. I, I don't think that uh, it, 
It wasn't a dragon, but... All right, we did kill them, so um, we are actually a mercenary. Do we have any award or rewards ah! for this? Yes, Pick exactly. We expect to be fairly compensated. Dragon! So like that like all the cobbles, like you remember, like everyone was like goes like and they all kneel before before you and it's like our savior, our savior. Cuff so where's our money? You do. Do not tell them that you threw the fireball at their settlement. Why not? Now they know we're gods anyway. What are they going to do about it? I, I think it would be funny. <laughs> what? Wait, what was that roll? <laughs> the, the, the potion, oh, the potion, the potion. potion. <laughs> you threw a fire You're again. I was like, <laughs> and... You might as well. <laughs> and, Without and, warning, rolls for oh a fire. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 kobold, the kobold then, like, what would they, the, the leader, like, looks at one of you. The closest will be... And reason. Uh, well, what does our what what do our savior, the outside creatures, want from us? We can provide you anything. Anything? Anything? Oh, this is tough. Perception. Is he lying? Um, insight. That's a roll. Insight. Check. Insight. Insight. Mm -hmm. Um, they're seen. Mm. He he looks um, extremely sincere about that. Hmm. Anything? Are there any treasures in this in in this entire cave, whether they're yours or not, that we might be the able dragon to? Dragon had a lot of take. treasure. It's true. It's true. They tend to have hordes. Great. Outsider, want our treasure? I just want the finest ale in town. I don't, that would be nice. It's been a long yeah. day. We have good ale. Ale good. Cobbled I... ale good. I just want Do to go back want... home. And yeah, we'll, we'll get a couple of drinks and uh, set our way. I don't drink. Yeah, of course you don't. Um, uh, that's bloody typical, really. What is that supposed to mean? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing yes. at all. Yes. Take us to your home, Cobalt Chieftain. We wish a grand meal, much drink, and as much of the treasure as we can carry out of here. You can keep the rest. Of course! Saviors! And then like, you just like, oh, hell! Saviors! And then like, everyone's like, oh, like the, all the kobolds are literally like worshipping you guys at this time. And like, from then on, you guys have like a really nice, uh, really nice feast with the kobolds, and you get all the treasure that they have. And since. And a maiden. And uh, no, maidens? no maidens, <laughs> no cobalt no, maidens. Oh, no maidens. <laughs> really want a cobalt maiden? <laughs> I'll take it. Wants uh, a you, 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 you got a uh, really tasty drink from the cobalt that for some reason smell like piss, and they all <laughs> let you out from another exit of the cave. And since then, the cave, not that far from Verdavento, is a place for cobalts to worship their saviors for adventurers who didn't even know what the fuck they're doing the air <laughs> and that's the end of the session <laughs> Yo, that's that's so that was so much fun oh my god <laughs> the fudge <laughs> oh wow, that God. was that was that was a ton of fun, and thank you very much for for, for putting up with my with my rule of cool shenanigans. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. That, 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 that was really, really fun. fun. Oh thank Lord, you. that's a yeah, good thank you for doing all of our bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And really, really did you just re did, did you just build a character without any offense magic at all? Yes. <laughs> That's well, wonderful. she's supposed to be edgy. <laughs> supposed to be edgy, but I'm like, mm, um, we only have one edgy yeah, person in the team. Um, too much. Who will be too much? Well, technically, all halflings are edgy. True. Nigga, I was like halflings, man. 
<laughs> the only edge, I, the only edge I found was, the, was Millie's edge in my body, just being, just stabbing me. <laughs> that was such a great moment. I love that. I would yeah, have loved that's it like and why, not full on edge. <laughs> <laughs> You anyway, imagine, imagine you guys, you feed me the potion, I'm restored from zero back to exactly full health, and then oh Millie stabs God. me immediately, and I die immediately <laughs> a second time. I would love it, yeah. Oh, God. Anyway, thank you, everyone, uh, for coming. Thank you, uh, all of you guys, uh, for coming to this one. Thank you, Millie, for finally attending at the end of the stream. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Shoto, for asking me for uh, for this kind of collab. Oh my god! Uh, no I really wanted to. I really wanted to play D and D with uh, USTL, and I, I was not disappointed. I had so much fun. So oh, it was really good. Really good. Was Thank you. And, you know, being patient with me too it means a lot. Well, yeah, Res is always great. Yeah, that's really a good fun. job to both uh, of you learning freaking gunslinger on the go. Holy crap. It's, 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 dude, this class is wacky, but man. Oh, yeah, great, yeah. Gun, gunslingers, man. So gunslingers, like, complicated. It's like all the yeah. trick shots and, like, everything. Misfires. Thank God there's no misfires, but yeah. Yeah, there were no misfires or any gun breaking. <laughs> My gun broke, then I was useless. Like, there was no oh, God, guns. like, seriously. Uh. Anyway, uh. Thank you, everyone. Uh, if you, uh, I, I, I think I don't need to say it, but still, go to everyone's channels: Vox, Agma, Mili, Pafe, uh, Fulgur, Ovid, and Shoto. Is that? Uh, I think I think that's your channel. Just Shoto. Yeah, just Shoto. Yeah, and uh, subscribe, everyone, to everyone's channel. I will read the super chat and donation uh, tomorrow when I have the time. Uh, but in the meantime, thank you, everyone, for coming. Uh, do anyone has anything to promote at all for any four of you? Subscribe to Reza's channel. Oh, yeah, subscribe to Reza. Oh. If you're a guilty, subscribe to Reza. Well, there you go. Be uh, sure you subscribe to Reza, not just for the D&D, but also incredible singing and great video game content. Let's go! Oh my god! <laughs> Thank you, everyone. But if you like Niji Andy, there's a lot of Niji Andy stuff. Uh, there's a long-running campaign called uh, Cobalt Fallen Sun that is going and uh, that is still going on. And there's a uh, Going Home series and more to come, actually. Maybe someday, coming to the stream. We'll see. Uh, hey. Thank you, everyone, for coming once again. Um, have a great night. Tomorrow is Monday. I assume you know, say, Otskareja! Otskare!